And yay! <laughs> it appears to have worked. <laughs> Uh. Elliot, you're on mute. <laughs> I'm on mute. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, it's great, isn't it? It's a brilliant way of doing it. By the way, good morning, all. Welcome to another Dash Room T8 live stream. Uh, I'm your inept host, Elliot Morris. Um, I've got you here today. We've got Paul Brown versus Ben Johnson. Um, the grudge match to end all grudge match, apparently. The, the eternal <laughs> fight between these two players. Um Joining me in the studio, we've got Tom Robinson, John Fawkes, and Jeff Trish. Right. Hey. Uh, just before we, we run through the, um, the list for this, I've got a, a bit of a um, sort of background um, material. So Paul can't join us for the, the live chat, but there is a, a, like a Facebook chat going on between um, for all of these live streams. It's kind of a setup chat. And the, the pre-game banter has been um, quite exceptional for this one. Um, <laughs> but the... So this, this was um, Paul's phrasing of the game. So he says, Seeing as Ben was once my protégé before being kicked out of the brown boot camp for triple knuckering and taking up with that dastardly trace do dojo, this will be a grudge match of sorts. We've probably played over 50 games of third against each other and essentially these specific lists are released 20 times. We will see if the student has indeed become the master. <laughs> Ooh. There you are. That is the setup for the game. <laughs> So, without further ado, should we jump into the lists? Yeah. Don't know if John, you can get them for us? Yeah. Do you want to go Ben's list first? Uh, yeah. 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 Utter filth, my friend. Utter filth. <laughs> 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 uh, I, to be honest, it's a, an evolution of one of Jeff's lists, so I blame <laughs> him for it. Well, absolutely. So it's uh, absolute filth then. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> So do I talk you through yeah, it? Um, yeah, uh, well, so my, my basic plan is it's very combat orientated. Um, it's, everything drops uh, and scores, and it's got a lot of drops. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tournament list uh, that I've built and played a lot, and you might have seen my 50 pounds for 50 hours army that I built it uh, with as well. So I was quite pleased that, so it's a, it's a real list that I've used in a tournament before. Um, it's actually one of those lists that, obviously on paper, it's got a lot of good stuff, but it requires quite a lot of finesse to play. Mm. Um, the the weaknesses in the list are around the fact that, it's, first, it's very vulnerable to shooting, um, which doesn't make it good in this game, because I think Paul can essentially do a quarter of my wounds in the game. Um, it also doesn't have leadership on the swarms and the knuckers, which can be a problem, so you've got to be careful there. Um, Normally, I'm quite happy to just run it up and smash at people um, when I choose to. But in this scenario, I've tried to... Uh, again, the list is quite adaptable, which is good. And I've essentially thought that the, the key is my unit strength for this. Yeah. Okay. And so we have a look at Paul's elf list then. Let's pull that up. So, Tom, do you want to just do, do a bit of uh, a walkthrough of this one? Yeah, so uh, Paul has a horde of tall spears with strength. It's got two troops of forest guard in there. Um, they're a nice little semi chaff, semi combat support unit. Uh, mm. Better cheap as well, you don't mind losing them. A uh, horde of palace guard, because you've got to, with Wrath, which is quite nice, because when they put them out of damage out that they do, it's nice to have them keep in the fight with Wrath uh, and make use of that big nerve uh, gap as well. Yeah. Um, Two regiments of storming cavalry. So previously, he'd run a uh, dragon horde. And I think here you might have thought, I want to save some points, get in a bit of shooting. Um, and there's not much like dragon horde, just kind of an upgraded uh, storming at this point. So I think that's where he's gone with. He's gone with the pathfinder and strider on each of them, just keep them in the fight when they go into terrain, which is useful since they're cavalry and they don't like that. Uh, we also have. No camera. Well, the kings, one of them on a horse with life leap to one. And the other one is just on foot. Because, I, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you swing, go for it. Uh, <laughs> and then finally two elven archmages, one of them with a boomstick, because you've got to, because lightning ain't elite, it's pretty damn nice. Mm. And it's quite cheap as well. 
And the second one is your all on spot cast. So you've got your main chant and inspiring telephone, and it comes with the lightning bolt five with obviously elite and all of them. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice little all around list. It does, it's a very, it's a very standard Kings of War kind of list, and it's got what you'd expect. It's got your different trip pods, it's got the troop backup, it's got a bit of shooting, it's got a bit of everything. Yeah. Okay. Traditional Kings of War list. Brilliant. So if we switch back to the battlefield. Right, can we just flip over to the, the table? Yep. And Bed, if you want to running through your deployment? Yeah, so my obviously Hall went first, which meant that I got an extra drop essentially, so I could lay out I think five of my units after he'd laid down. Mm. So my plan was originally to deploy across the board to not play my hand, so to speak. Um, so I've loaded all my army on the right hand side, um, which keeps away from a large part of his shooting, um, and essentially, hopefully, will allow me to push without too much loss into his to my scoring zone. Um, I've also deployed back with quite a lot of my units beyond six, um, which just gives me that extra turn of defense from shooting if he goes first, which he tends to want to. Um, and uh, yeah, I think the the key element of what this is going to be is actually on the left-hand side with my, my, essentially my, my fake troops. It's how I use them and can get them into play, either to slow them down or to bring them into play on the right-hand side, which is where I think he's going to start focusing the the troops uh, and the knights. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, we've, we've kind of deployed in the same way, almost. So essentially denying a large, the large uh, unit strength from each other. So they're kind of out of the game, um, which I think it's is the classic my favor. Yin yang. Yes. <laughs> which I think is slightly my favor with my unit strength. Um, yeah. It, it, it's it's um, the, the, the four troops if I can take them out, because um, his knights I'm not too worried about, by the time they get to me, I'll be able to face him down with my um, my hordes of death horrors. And although the knights are good on the charge, if I survive a turn, which I should do, um, they'll go down. Um, this knocker on the left is quite an interesting one. I'm thinking I'm probably looking to bring him back into the middle um, to put pressure on those knights as they push up onto the right. And... Yeah. Um, and just just keep him honest, keep me keep him away for the return. Um, this game, I see it going well. It's essentially going to be cat and mouse. Um, not a lot of points are going to be scored from kills. I think um, definitely not in the first four turns. Um, although he is going to try and shoot me about. Um, I think the the fact that he's got both of his mages on the left hand side, the majority on the right, he's definitely in my favour. Um, because they're the two things that really ripped my army apart. Um, it's going to be kind of pinned down his Stormwind, um, uh, sorry, Silver Breeze, uh, and get the Nookers on them, which again, uh, I'm almost, I'm quite happy for a one to one exchange because he's already behind on unit strength on that. Um, yeah, so that's, I'm, I'm rel relatively happy with the deployment. It's, it's in line with what I, I planned it to be, and I'm pleased that he's not gone central, he's gone the other side. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, well, thank you very much. We'll, we'll let you go get on with it and we'll we'll see okay, you guys. back here when you're done. All right. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck to you both. See you soon. Thanks, Enjoy. guys. Thanks, Jeff. See you soon. See you, man. Is he gone? Is he gone? Is he safe? Right. <laughs> right, what do we think? Okay. What do we think I mean, of deployment? Really that well, I think Ben has played it the, the right way to win the game. It's probably not as interesting, but he's definitely played it the right way for, for setup. Paul's got his two biggest hard hitters right on the other side, and half his things are nimble, so he can get around them anyway. And as he said, he's going to bring that knucker across to slow the cab down a little bit. And Paul's going to have a hard time winning this. Yeah. I agree entirely. I think yeah, I agree. Uh, it, it's it's this is for Ben to lose. Uh, the scenarios invade, so it's it's getting that um, the right hand side of uh, of Ben's army straight down the board. And we were saying way. prior to the game starting that uh, if Ben loses everything on the left, so all five of those units go, he's still a, a unit strength up. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pumini doesn't lose anything. So if he just sends everything on the right flank, just straight down and doesn't lose any of it, then he's won. Yep. Yeah. 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 And so what, what did he call the Nibbles, but... mm. So Paul's really going to have to optimize his shooting here and. Uh, yeah. Back. But it's all on the other side. Well, he's got one in the middle. And, yeah. It's a boomstick, so it's the important one as well. Yep. Yeah, oh, the so one right good. over to the left. Okay, so we've got, oh, the, we've got the mage with lightning bolts and boomstick. is is pretty central. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's in the middle. Or slightly left. Yeah. And Storm Breeze and... Storm Silver. Breeze. Sorry, Silver Breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Storm Breeze. Oh, they're elves. Who cares? Um, okay, so, <laughs> so these are scout moves from Swarms. Yep. Trying to get as close to how so uh, you know it's, it's, Ben's got first turn so um, oh no it's not decided that yet yeah it's go yeah so it's a bit risky if he doesn't get first turn then he could lose swarms fairly rapidly and there's nothing behind them I was going to say I, I probably wouldn't uh, throw him up up that far if at all I, I think so isn't it I mean this is this is this is classic you Tom isn't it trying to get some board dominance straight away and. Uh, mm. So you're trying to get invade, so you want to fight in the battle in the almost starting at halfway line. I'd probably be preserving them to be honest because they're just units, then. Yeah, I'm the not going to do a whole lot yeah. in the game other than die. Yeah, so Ben's so first turn. <laughs> so, Ben's strategy, I suppose, is fairly clear here, isn't it? It's forward and plus pressure on what? what's Paul's strategy mm -hmm. based on his deployment. Ben's strategy is give the first turn to Paul, apparently, and invade. That's yeah, it. that's interesting. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. the word, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't he just say he didn't want to do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mind well, you. I can, I can see it. I mean, I think he's thinking he can waste a turn of shooting from Silver Breeze. Um, okay. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. I think even the lightning bolt eight caster can move across to the right and zap those uh, yeah. those yeah. swarms because he needs to go that way anyway. Mm. So I don't think he's going to waste that much of his shooting. Okay, mate just walked forward, but there's nothing. Well, Ben Ben moved back more than six from the deployment line with those ones in front of that mage so he's not going to be able to zap them um, you can no, get even ask, uh, you get tidal swarms can't great. he a great shoot three six nine yeah you can take tidal swarms yeah. tidal yeah. swarms aren't, aren't stealthy no that's that's a prime target for the silver breeze and being defense too mm. yeah yeah so it has giving up first turn jeopardized ben's ability to pressure those um silver the Cavalry in the middle, because now they can move up effectively eighteen inches unopposed. Yeah, yeah. Like in, uh, knock here we go. Yeah. yeah, the knockers obviously uh, match sp air speed with the silver breeze, so they're a nice one for just pushing mm. them. Back and mm. Taking oh, no, no, no. yeah, because uh, Ben was talking about using the uh, nook over here to cut, sort of come in in an arc and sort of put pressure onto this area here. Where the expensive cavalry to be by turn three. Um, mm. So, but he's gonna problem is by turn two, he's gonna have this these nice things right in his art uh, in his knucker's yeah. He might shield the knucker with the swarm on the way across if it's not dead. I think the swarm's dead in this turn. No, it probably is, but uh, if it isn't, he, he might yeah. use that that way. Yeah. I don't. I'd only put five what makes into that swarm. To be honest, I'd probably only put five in. Move, yeah, like he's doing now. Moves uh, that centre silver breeze across to the right. Yeah, to take out the other swarm. Has the king? Yeah. Has, mm. has, has the king got a bow? Nah, I don't no. think so. Well, he's, moved, he's marched anyway, hasn't he? Yeah, I know. No, the the elven king on foot is just a bit <laughs> meh. Mm. It's, it's definitely a why, isn't it? I guess if you had a horse there, it'd be perfectly placed to pin that knocker down. Yeah, you can't pin him down. 
can move forward and probably move just a uh, 90 degree and then move across the front of that building and still be uh, uncatchable. Mm. But as, as Jeff says, they're, they're very hard to pin down, because, especially with a, an individual burst, because the, the nimble yeah, the and nimble. everything you can get. Yeah. Yeah. You can pretty much well, get around everything there, can't you? Yeah. Best you hope and it's just taken the uh, thunderous charge off them. Mm. There we are. So, yeah, he is moving the cavalry up. Yeah. I think that's a good move. I think you've got to... I mean, you know, look, look at the ticker there, the, the eight unit strength difference, just starting with. Paul has to kill things. Um, yeah. Whereas Ben's very happy here, not killing things. Speaking of which, he then backs up his forest guard troop. <laughs> Wrong way. It's, that forest guard troop is going to die. It's just a factor of when, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like bringing it. I'll back their silver breeze up as well and turn them a little bit. Just so they can bug out when uh, everything goes barreling down. Mm. You're going to need all of Yeah, the silver breeze after them, so I'm backing them because they can, they can be scarring straight away, basically, can't they, whenever they need to be. Yeah. See the king there? Cha cha sliding to the right. <laughs> The official term is it? Yeah. <laughs> chaff, chaff. <laughs> okay, here we go. Shooting. Um, there we go. So this is quite a big, a big shooting turn, I think, really, even yeah. for the first one, because he needs to do damage every single turn. Mm. Yep. Fours and twos. Uh, no, um, there's a cover there. It's flat. It's, no, it's, not cover. it's on an obstacle, but he's touching the obstacle, so it doesn't count. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Early. Early. No, not so much. Oh. Three. <laughs> Three dead. Yeah, it's that right. You look at it far early, aren't you? Yeah. And the second unit. They've been so tense about shooting chaff. <laughs> Look at the leap. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's had six elite rerolls. He's got one out of that six. <laughs> elite it's more than have otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> so he's still got the lightning bolts, hasn't he? Or is he? Yeah. Does, yeah. It, does he have a lightning bolt on the right flank? One. Yeah, the mage does mm. five and the one in the uh, wood. Yeah, yeah, that one there. Oh, shit. On the left here. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Whoa! Ooh. Get off. Mm. <laughs> you can't find his truth. There he is. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, starting on the knuckers. I'm saying, can you? Can you what? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, he's in range. Six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Yeah, there's 20, 24 inch radar rings. So yeah. Yeah. If he's in the rings at all, he's in range. Yeah. Four hits. Nice. Yes. Oh, four wounds. Boom. These bows. Yep. Well, that's a that's a lightning bolt. <laughs> like, oh, that's what I mean. Exactly. These bows are crap. Yeah, who, who needs bows? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not as good. Get more mages. Well, it's almost like bow shooting is a bit naff in this game now, and um, lightning bolts are the way to go. Hmm. I don't know about that, but it's definitely the lightning bolt is the way to go. Yeah. yeah. It's the most productive, that's for sure. The reason why I have 18 of it in my radio list. <laughs> on flying chaff yeah so, so why, why do you think he backed up the forest troop then what, what's the reason there if there is one save it till late game I guess just to plink mm -hmm. go in late game and try to do two or three damage to a depth or hard to finish off I guess before it goes out mm -hmm. it's, it's going to die 
that there's up. still no need to move back, was there? Because Ben's got no shooting whatsoever. I guess well, he, might, he might rotate at 90 degrees and just run off. Go sit behind that wall and then go sit behind the uh, rocks and then try and maybe five or six get across the centre, I guess. I don't know. Mm. It's going to die anyway, so yeah. uh, probably the only route to keep it alive. Well, I'd rather it die, say, sitting up in the pond or something like that so that it just slows Ben down. No check. Oh, look at here we go. Mm. No, no, needs a six. That's dead. That's dead. No. Oops. Yeah, got that one. That was a good turn overall, then. Mm. Mm. So, what's Ben going to do now, then, guys? Uh, walk forward. He doesn't have any shooting. That's all we can do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Aggressively forward, though, or do you just trundle? Oh, aggressive, why not? Is, is he in a rush? Yeah. He's not stopping you. Yeah. Well, say so the, the, the cavalry can't see anything. No. If he, he puts it, that wood's going to be it's beautifully placed. Yeah. He leaves the knuckers up behind the wood, so as soon as the cab come through, they get nailed. So I think that other knucker should come out and then go across behind the hill, get, get some cover. Mm -hmm. I think if I was if I was Ben here, I'd be almost ignoring the big hordes going forward and just just focus on destroying on killing as much as possible on that um, on Paul's right hand side. Yeah, so allow his, his units just to walk through and say, okay, you've got um, eight scoring points going through. Just chaff them up a little bit, but not worry about it too much. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he doesn't even really have to chaff him up. Paul can't go chasing him because he's not going to catch him. Not with the hordes, anyway. No. In, out, in, out. There we go. That's now got a big target saying, please shoot him. Yeah. I would have thought he'd been able to get it out and across and get himself some cover there with that hill. Yeah. I think he wants to be able to pressure the central uh, storm in, though. Yeah. But he, he's height four. He can see over the hill. Yeah. It'd be out range, then. Yeah. Just in 18 at the moment. Not 17. Yeah, that must be. Yeah. That's the 18 line, isn't it? The blue. Yeah. Mm. And I don't think you'd be able to get onto just sorry, be just behind the hill without being in range of the uh, king on foot. Out of range of the king on foot. Yeah, twelve inch charge, so blue line. If you wanted to get covered, you wouldn't be able to do it there without being charged. I mean, the one on the left going up back towards his own deployment you mean, zone. You mean there, Jeff? Where the... Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so he gets that, from the shooting. Get as close as you can to the building and go across that gap there. Yeah. Because yeah. it's the lightning bolt that's going to kill him. Mm. I think the lightning bolt's going to kill him next turn anyway. Yeah, well... But like I say, in cover, it's not going to... Feed. No, it gives him a, a bit of a chance. 
So, mm. judging by the angling here, he, he is basically ignoring. I've got Ben's completely ignoring. Uh, well, you, you can cut you, I suppose. Balls. He's yeah. here. He's not. He's turning him. in to watch out to destroy the cavalry as it comes yeah. into this area here. Yeah. It, it, he's effectively he's going to let Paul bank that eight unit strength, but it's a, a hell of a lot of points doing nothing but being unit strength all game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Whereas if they'd have been to the right of the trees, they could have gone forward 12 here now and really been in the fight of all that those regiments yeah. it was a very odd choice they're, 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 they're literally about a foot and a half too far over yeah if, if, that, if that unit was down here and the cavalry was just slightly to the right oh. hmm. I mean they're not out of the game forever but it's going to be a turn five or six, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. next turn they'll clear the trees, and then you do, you know, they've got a 12 inch move every turn. But then everything's going to be the other side of that forest on the right. So, yeah, yeah they're out of the game forever. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not Interesting sure. Interesting choice. Yeah, I'm not sure why Paul would have started them in the forest anyway, as there is no shooting. No. So it's no, surprising. <laughs> All it's doing is slowing him up. Okay, yeah. So he's dipped the uh, nooker into the edge of the wood. Yeah. I mean, you can do that with impunity, can't you, really? Because, I mean, one of them's got a pathfinder, but you're not charging a gun. Or is out of range? He's out of range. Yeah. yeah. All right. So does he have to become shooting target number one now, then? Or do you just take the charge? Because your options are either take the charge, stay out of range yourself, but be held back all game, or try and shoot it off. I think mm -hmm. I take the charge there. You know, you can't you can't have one knocker dictate your entire flow of your game. No, especially not in the front. That knock is just evil. <laughs> Pure evil. It's that nimble square base. It's, and the high speed they've got. And the height. In fact, basically yeah. it's every single stat they've got. Yeah. Brilliant. And, and, the and the cost. And the stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's, it's the fact that they've, they've got all that thunderous as well, so they're they're more than good enough in the flank or the rear. So you, oh, you can't I mean, ignore them completely. The crush world thunderous one now, which I think is better overall than thunderous three, because if it gets sat yeah. down, oh god, yeah, they're not they're not thunderous. Men, yeah, yeah. yeah. And not bad off hills either. Those things, which could be the other reason, put, uh, Ben sitting up there. Yeah. Mm. Their only weakness is lightning bolt, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is their weakness. They, they do tend to run around with lightning rods on their head, don't they? Yeah. And they don't yeah. be inspired that often either. Yeah, well, there's no inspiring what for them whatsoever in the list. No. no. Do the Eternals, do they inspire depth horrors? Yeah, yeah only depth horrors. Yeah, so there's, there is some inspiring in the list, at least, anyway. Yeah, so the swarms and the knuckers don't have any. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we have we have a question for you, Jeff. Yep. Let me oh, stick well, it up on screen. Do you have any uh, influence? <laughs> 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 uh, yes. Yeah. Do I answer it on on, on that chat thing? Do I? Well, you, 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 can, you can answer it here. Yeah. Well, I, I used uh, the depth horror list in the Masters last year. I did have allies. I didn't have uh, as many knuckers or depth horrors, but I still had quite a few and won the Masters with it. So, yes, um, I played it against Ben a few times. He really liked it. He changed it into something that he likes playing and he plays it quite well. He does very well. Yeah. I, say, I think it's worth mentioning that both, both these players are undefeated at the minute. This is round five. Yeah. Um, so this is table two of Call to Arms. Uh, so whoever wins here is is likely to be playing one of the Toms, either Tom Robinson below me or Tom Annis. Um, Hello. So yeah, 
And any of these particular time you'd be more concerned about playing? Uh, probably the depth for one. I don't know. Elza Elza out there. Right. <laughs> mm. I suppose you do, you do also have a lot of lightning ball, don't you? Yeah, yeah. it's Rodier, isn't it? I don't really care about Silver Breeze or Infantry Hards or shooting in general. And the only thing is the weight of attacks with the uh, depth for a spam would be an issue, maybe. But Yeah. Scenario is a big point on this list. Mm. It's very it's good not, at scenario. Really, he's going to have to send all Nick, Knuckles after volley guns and stuff, which is fine by me because I've got all the lightning bolts to deal with them. Um, volley guns are excellent for this kind of matchup because it's just you don't have any individuals to stop me, so I'm just gonna, I'm going to get some shots off. It's going to be good. Yeah, depends where your forests are, are located on the table as well. So if he gets the knuckles into there, gets the cover from the lightning bolt, and then gets at your. Um, mm. At the volley guns, etc., can cause trouble. Mm. Watch anyway. You've got to get there first, Tom. Oh, I might, oh, I might go. I might go full Tom Annis style anti meta and bring the my abyssal list, which has got like sixty odd fireball and. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was. I was playing. So I don't throw hard. I shuffling up out there. Yeah. To use that one game, I'd have liked to have seen that remaining title swarm just bug out, just use your nimble, yeah, just, just pr preserve its unit strength, yeah, go be alive somewhere else. Well, if, if you look at the ticker, Paul's getting there, <laughs> it's now it's now only six difference in unit strength rather than eight. Well, that's not too bad, six, no. I mean, in terms of the thing is that the depth of our regiments are not easy pickups, and the Eternals definitely aren't easy pickups, are they? No, it's so not there's bad to pick up. In terms of easy and inverted commas pickup unit strength, you've got the the remaining tidal swarm and maybe the knuckers. That's it. Yeah, um, after that, you're, like you're in for a real fight, aren't you? Mm. Yeah, even the knuckers, they they everything's hard after the swarms. Mm. It'll take a couple of goes of shooting normally to take them in. Take him down. I don't know that Paul's got yeah. that gone. Yeah, um, time is going to be the issue, isn't it? Here, I mean, he's yeah. Ben has moved up aggressively, as, as he said he, he should do. Yeah, um, that forest really is wonderful for him here, isn't it? <laughs> Perfect it's for just, him. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's giving him that lovely little alleyway just to to wander down, effectively safe. Um, you know, you're not you're not charging in snare stuff in the forest, are you? No. No. Especially since uh, Stormwind can't really take a hit. They're at, they've, they're at that rules point and nerve point where they're just not like they're mediocre to slightly under mediocre in terms of survivability. Most things that you're looking at as a like a, a standard combat unit, a 15, 17 with a rule, so like Life Leech or mm. Resolve or some, you know, some around to help them, but these guys don't have any of that. So 14, 16, Defense 5 is fairly low. That's the big difference. They don't have Headstrong, do they? Which is really unusual. Yeah. Um, Usually you've got something to keep And hurts them. Yeah. yeah. And the other problem for Paul is when he does get those knights up there, he'll normally be multi-charged because Ben's got enough mm. nimble stuff around to not just put one in, he'll put two or three in. Yeah. yeah. They're going to be isolated. Being not inspired also doesn't help. Hmm. I, mean, I guess the king can get over there, but. So where are Paul's inspiring? Taurus has got he's got the the mage. You see, nine. Yeah, two kings and a mage. Yeah. Yep. So inspiring there, inspiring there, and inspiring there. Right. So no, nowhere near as expensive cavalry. No. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a concern because that one doesn't have it. Those uh, infantry hards are very safe. <laughs> yeah, we would think so. Exceptionally safe hordes. Yeah. Hello. Okay. okay. Turn, Turn two. Turn two. Yeah, go on, King. Get in the way. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be running up a big hill. Oh, hello. You're running, going, no, it's me. I'm here. <laughs> I lost my arse. 
I'm sure Shakespeare had something about it, didn't he? <laughs> a horse, a horse. <laughs> a kingdom from a horse. So that is Battle of Ashencourt. So that is Henry V. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Hey. This is showing the full the full breadth of my uh, of my knowledge. It's a, it's a cultured stream today. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's because like coffee, not wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we don't know. Is the simple answer to that one? Oh yeah, no, question to put on the screen for you. <laughs> With nothing to fight. <laughs> Um, they were actually dropped fairly early on as well. It yeah, wasn't like yeah. a, um, it wasn't like there was a, a you know, a, a bluffed deployment or so they were, they were, it appears that was Paul's plan from the very start was to effectively just have the safe unit strength. Yeah. I mean, he has there managed to move, so he's now clear um, and he's going to be, you know, blasting up down that, that left-hand side the next turn, but he's limited in what he can fire. And as Tom said, if he kills everything on that flank, He's still down. Yeah, he currently be if he kills everything on the right and that left flank, he doesn't lose anything. He will be drawing on unit strength. Jeez, is the fight here for Paul though, to kill everything on the left flank and just ignore the right? I think he'll he'll try and pick off. Well, no, because he needs because he's got the shooting on the right. He needs to kill that swarm. He needs to kill a, a knocker, a swarm, and preferably a regiment, and then he can take the. But does he only need to kill it with shooting? Yeah, is, is it not worth the risk fighting it? We might really. doing actually. So he's, I think he's thinking of backing off. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's basically creating a, um, well, an ambush almost, drawing everybody forward. Mm. But but Ben's not stupid, <laughs> so mm. let's move up. <laughs> Or you know, maybe he is stupid and it's a double bluff. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Paul and Ben do play each other a lot. Yeah, um, yeah. I think they've, they've, they've said they've had about, about 50 games against each other, and this is probably about the 20th game with these exact lists. <laughs> so they, they they know the strengths and weaknesses of their list completely. Um, yeah. You know, probably a lot more than we do. So, you know. This, this is definitely but I think the there's a interesting ones isn't it uh elliot where we're gonna it's like because we're gonna say well what is he doing there and yet these guys have played so many times there is genuinely something yeah. we may not have spotted they've probably played out every hypothetical situation yeah. <laughs> in real life at the moment they're starving cavalry are trying to become a hard <laughs> <laughs> we exist damn it. Christ, horses. <laughs> <laughs> it's like power rangers well, the knocker must have had an effect on him, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. It's what they're doing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there yeah, wasn't the much you could brain. do, actually, is there, without him. Um... Can we just check the arc, John, on that, um, that knocker? On the left. Left. I'd say he's just dropped down a bit. Yeah. yeah so, I mean, that, that yeah. is a big cone of, you yeah, not coming in here. Yeah, I mean, it's facing um, that way, isn't it? Yeah, so he's created that death. And off the hill, like you were saying, Tom, that... You could easily waver if not break yeah. one of those regiments in the flank. Flank, yeah, because you'll you'll get your hill bonus as well, even though you're charging back up yeah. a different hill. Yeah. Threes and twos. Yeah. Yeah, outside range. Oh, Janice, I don't think I could do a tournament with wine. I could do a tournament with beer, but I'm not sure about a tournament with wine. That just sounds like a very dangerous combination. <laughs> I tried a tournament on cider in Bristol and it broke me. <laughs> I was about to say, you got broken, weren't you, by uh, by Matt? Phys physically broken, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it one of those flavoured? Actually, medically broke. Was it flavoured no, flavor ciders? Um, yeah, well, it was, it was, I think it was a mixture of about 30 different ciders. <laughs> That's the problem. And two dodgy, two dodgy takeaways as well. Oh yeah, it's obviously the dodgy takeaway. That's what came, came away with gastritis. <laughs> That's how much it broke me. <laughs> it broke Adam's car as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I were a pain in the ass. Wasn't it? Well, it's okay because we can we can blame that broken car for uh, Nick's um, scarecrow list. 
Yeah. Because we came, we came up with that list, didn't we, while, while sat in a, um, a garage waiting for his tyre to be changed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to assume that Mounted King come up the side of the rocks just so he can start threatening maybe that, you know, that regiment in his back line. It'll get mm. too much combat on that. It'd be quite nice with, to see it so he could throw yeah. it in his turn, maybe. With his there. life leech as well, he, he's quite good at taking the small ones down. Yeah, he can realistically do a regiment on his own. Yeah, he could, mm. definitely. And if everything turns to face him, then he can just bug out because he's an individual. Yep. So is that, that the Mounted King just on the right there, is it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what his role is there at all. Here we go, shooting. Four hits, four damage. That should Ooh. be the swarm's gone. It's only a six. I'd What's the nerf? Mm. 11. Finish them off. Dash 12. Yeah. Okay, Nine so high. Pl one plenty more. easier to fail when you charge him. Ah, never mind. Mm. Right. He's, he's better off shooting the hordes and combating the regiments. It's only yeah. three more nerve at defense three and yeah. so much better in combat. So. Mm. <laughs> that elite is not doing work yet. Elite sucks. <laughs> One. Who said that um, Death Row was easy to shoot off? <laughs> They're supposed to be. So here we go. Lightning bolt. So yeah, it could really do with them um, taking these out, otherwise, it's going to slow down that entire left side. Ooh. Is the boom stick out of range now? It's just in. All right, cool. Ooh. One. One move. Mm. That's from the five lightning bolt. Mm. Right, okay, yeah. Uh, let's get up to waverable level. Mm. 13, 15. Yeah. So. There you go, lightning bolt, eight. But it, it's still a shame that he's having to double up into everything. Yeah. You know, you. it would be nice for him if he could be splitting that fire across and really putting damage across the board, really. I think he's thinking about where he wants to send his lightning bolts from the... <sighs> I think he has to finish that knucker. Surely. Yeah, you have to yeah, go to the The knuckers, they do too much to just control ball space. You've got to deal with them. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Knucker alone is manageable. Two is a... Is uh, yeah, 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 no elite. Oh. Oh, his elite sucks. Oh. One two elite. Wow. And that's Ooh. the... Fla He's a seven to waver. Oh yeah, the defense fire. Got it. Yeah, got the wa got the waiver. It's something now. Uh, yeah, it's going to back off. Something. Yeah. It just it it takes another turn of a shooting, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. But at least he has to back off charge. now. He'll just charge with the um, one of the infantry boards. That's what I'm saying. The knucker has to back off. He's still got yeah. nimble. Yeah. So he'll pivot and go backwards. Okay, so the other tidal swarm's now gone. Yep. See, Ben doesn't mind you shooting them up, it's taking it away from the rest of his army. Yeah. It's the ideal thing for bows, isn't it? Yeah. I'm putting the um, list in the Dropbox folder now, guys, because your host is a complete amateur and forgot to do it. Okay, we've got the Nooker doing the uh, hokey pokey. Or hokey yeah. In, so out, in, out, turn it all around. Yeah, he's going to go backwards. Doesn't have a choice. There's no point giving Pascad a, a charge. No, because it pulls him up the board. Yeah. Very nice, doesn't it? And... Right on the flank of all in depth, I'd be lovely that. Hmm. Look. So now, if Paul wants to keep shooting, it is going to get cover, so 
Seven was. Another height five over three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice of him? <laughs> oh, you think you play this list so many times? Yeah. Probably play for each other now. Paul is good that way, but he he'll... he is very good. Yeah, no, he's, yeah. A, he's a very sporting player, which is it's almost worse when he then beats you. You kind of you kind of <laughs> wish he was meaner. <laughs> he gives you plenty of stick while he's doing it. Don't worry about that. Oh, he does, yeah. Oh, you should you should play him in real life as well. He's an absolute gentleman. It's very yeah, infuriating I'll... as he takes your army off. <laughs> when I get over there, I'll make sure I will. Yeah, he just smiles all the way through. <laughs> That's pretty much he... how Tom Annis plays, to be honest. He's a, a true gentleman on the table. Well, I smile all the way through. I just don't beat you. That's the problem. No, you did no, Ellie. You did beat me. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you, you beat you. <laughs> I didn't roll those dice. You did. Yes. It's all right. I've I've put a, put a power drill through a hard drive to. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't find a way. Burning of, dice. Yeah, that's a couple of burning dice. Yeah. So what's what's Ben doing here now? Then is he? What do you do on the, the left-hand side? I mean, the right-hand side is a fairly... It's a shuffle and move-up, isn't it? But yep. do you just try and preserve your regiments or do you try and push up more and harass the cavalry or do you just accept that there's hordes um, coming or do you try and engage them? I'd try to get them away. Either that or move back. The, uh, the Eternal will be able to outmaneuver the stuff there, but the regiments won't. So if he's going to make a break for it, he better do it soon, or they'll be they'll be too close up on him. Does he have any chance of killing either of those hordes with the units? Not with what he's got there. Not with what he's got there, he won't. Yeah, because if you, if you do break one of those, that that swings the entire game, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. But as you say, I don't I don't feel it does. No. I mean, maybe if all three all three of the depth horror units are charged. The palace guard, maybe. Um, mm. Need to be the turn after when two of them have died. One to the spearmen, one to the palace guard, and you need another round of combat mm. with the death guard to try and finish. Yeah. But even then, that's not the twenty-two, twenty-four with Fury. They're not. Yeah. I'd go anyway. Maybe throw the knucker in as well, but then you got all four trying to take down one horde. Mm. Probably would do it. But I think Ben knows that. That's why he's, he doesn't want to fight him. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, the Fury is a great item there just for uh, just for saying, no, nah, it's not going to matter. You need to kill them, otherwise you are going to be losing units in turn. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's so much investment in that, that combat hard. You might as well have it, you know, still, still doing work as well. Mm -hmm. There's no guarantee even those hordes drop one of those regiments because uh, the minus one to hit and the dash 15, uh, you can yeah, get a low no exactly. nerve roll or some bad dice and, you know, I've seen funnier things. No, it's snare is a, a very powerful rule. Yeah. I mean, the one that always gets me is when you charge the tidal swarms and then you, your night regiment bounces off because <laughs> you're hitting on falls. Yeah. It's just sad. <laughs> the the other big weakness for any Trident Realm list is lists that hit on threes, but mm. anything that hits on four and above, you you really give them a hard time. But lists that hit on threes, they've got a good chance of one shot in you. Yeah. Or reasonable yep. chance, better chance, whichever way you want to look. That's a good good question. That's it. I think if I think if he was to do that, on the right of the forest, while Paul has fallen on the left. Yeah, I think that's what we mentioned at the start: is the sheer amount of unit strength. I think Ben's just going to try and take the scenario. Um, 
Um, mm. I was going to hope to shoot off some of the stuff on the right to let him do the same yeah. on the left and keep the scenario. Yeah. So well, if he was doing that, then the scenario rather than each other, really, aren't they? Yeah, but if if he's, if he's doing that, then he should be really moving those majors with lightning bolt further over to the right hand side, start putting some serious hurt on the exactly uh, on the on the units on the right hand side, mm -hmm. and leave yeah. the and leave the nooker and the three, oh, sorry, two uh, regiments and uh, death horror. To yeah, the, it, to the, to the it definitely needs all the shooting on the right, and then pin in the units up on the left, mm. so they can't get across. And then they're useless for unit strength. Whether they're dead or not makes no difference. Yep. I mean, to be fair, though, he has moved that lightning bolt mage. Has moved over. It was oh, somewhere yeah. over here before, wasn't it? It's Which one? one the one right in now in the really in the middle of his battle line is the lightning bolt eight. Yeah. Yeah. That one there. Yeah, he should start doing some work now. He really wants Paul's, that other one to go with it, I think. I think Paul's move for next time is put that forest guard troop on the right into the eternal. Uh back yeah. the slurries off a bit, rotate them so they can get a full shot off of that horde. Use the boomstick on the horde as well, so you've got both silver breeze and boomstick going in, and maybe you'll pick it up. And that's three unit strength that you've pinned down the eternal, and then the turn after that you can bug out with the silver breeze troop and save their unit strength. Do we know where the halfway line is on this? I'm guessing it's somewhere just in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> right there you are, guys. I've put the list in the folder now. By the way, oh uh, yeah, so it's obviously midway, probably midway through the forest and the pond. Yeah, I think it will. It, it must be, it'll must cut be that forest that. pretty much in half. Right, I think. Yeah. So, were any of you surprised to see that Trident Realms have, have tipped over into the the highest win percentage army for Call to Arms? Uh, I think it's more a product of the people playing them rather than them being exceptionally strong. Yeah, I agree. Ellie, do you want to move that uh, that comment off? From I'm trying. <laughs> it, won't, it won't go away. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Singapore's only doing well because of Paige, so it's the same yeah. sort of thing. <laughs> so whatever he's playing, he's going to be doing well. They've got a, a fair amount of games there. Um, you know, there, there are armies that are, that are obviously outliers because it's just one or two people playing them, but there are a fair few players, and they do seem to be performing well. Yeah. Yeah. They're interesting because I think a lot of the talk around when 3rd Edition dropped was that Trident Realms have, had been neutered. Yeah. Well, it's it, it seems to me maybe that wasn't the case. One competitive play style was neutered. Which is yeah, like, they're, they're very um, individual, very formulaic theory yeah. of the sea. It was, everything was the same list with three different units, maybe. Yeah. Well, I've used Trident Realms in one of my games uh, for the win. I think we may have this question up forever now. <laughs> it won't it's go gone. away. It's gone away. Has it gone? Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, look, on my screen, it's still there. You did it. <laughs> but, uh, I was just glad to see that somebody had taken Undead off the top spot for. Um... <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm surprised about that, to tell you the truth. <laughs> you go into the woods today. <laughs> Bloody knuckles everywhere. <laughs> That's, That's an odd choice, moving the knuckle there. I have to say, well, uh, you, you've sort of lost that yeah. pincer move. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I'll try to need a nerf, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely OP. I think just Somebody def collect her. Immediate defense three or took a nerve off of it. Oh, the Eternal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Eternal needs to get dropped down. It's 115 points. And you're like, well, it's more survival than a regiment. It's about as good in combat. It's also inspiring. 
Um, better defence. And nimble. Better yeah. Than yeah. I mean, it's one of those units that's always worth taking, even if you don't have depth errors. Exactly. Um, just as a scoring little objective carrying pain. Just as some, something to shut units down. It'll shut cavalry down. You can shut down even soul reavers, anything with it. Mm. Yeah. Just pin them down while the other units move up. So it's very, very powerful. He also pairs horrifically with Ector. Because you can put him yeah. side by side with Exeter. Yeah. Which one do you fight? Mm. So what's the plan then, do you think, with the the Nooker moving into the trees? Because it can't see a whole lot there. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he's is doing. It, he? Surely is he out of charge range of the cavalry? He'd have to be, wouldn't he? I can't check I can't check the distance. Yeah. Just yet. I think mm. he is, yeah. Just yeah, blue, blue lines the probably. But he's um he's basically giving the cavalry free reign there to Mm. to choose not to engage on that right flank and just focus mm. on the middle. But if you look as well, the uh, Palace God are now in range of the left side knocker. Ooh. Are they? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, mm. that, you, you have to take that, surely. Yeah. Yeah, you can't charge anything else. Uh, well. I think he wants him to do that just to pull him away so that the rest of the um, depth or a block can move up. But then the, the spearman will come in slow them down anyway yeah and and but even if you do that there's no threat to your palace guard is there and you've given and it it, just, it means bomb. that the shooting isn't having to shoot at the, the um, knocker again yeah you put it to the eternal depth horror yeah. or eternal, sorry and if he does that he gets the reform and he's got the cab there to pincer him so i'm not sure that that's a great move hmm I don't see why you'd give it to him, really. Yeah, I would have thought he should go straight back. Better than an option. Well, give your opponent anyway. No. So that's looking at whether the king can fit back up there. Yeah, you wouldn't think so. No. No, he can't. The king's got the option to charge the knocker, at least. Yeah. Put a couple of wounds on it and take its thunderous away. Less of a threat. Hmm. He'd probably have to run away with it the next turn. He probably can't even afford to counter if Paul's moved up. Yeah, that's what. That's what. Yeah, the, the knocker across has done. It means he can now move that them Stormwind up this turn. Yeah. Give him a couple of free wounds. You're a block area. Although, is it um, is it in the flank of the knocker or the front? Even in the flank, he could probably still get in, I think. Yeah, it's in the flank. Yeah, it's still fair. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, get up through that gap. Mm. Tight. He's, I think he's just checking now. Mm. Hmm. I'm not sure I like this play from Ben. I think he's he's taken what was basically a, a wide open board where he had lots of pincers and lots of things to harass mm. units and he's condensed himself down into a tight little corner. Yeah. And effectively abandoned all the stuff on the, the top left. Mm. Yeah. If Paul can there's plenty of unit strength. Area, it'd be like Yeah. Shooting gallery over there. Yeah, absolutely. And you know he has the tools to do that. And yep, definitely. All Ben can do at that point really is hold off. But it, it's only bottom of two. Yeah, plenty of turns to be shooting. If Paul gets a little bit of luck with his lightning bolts, he'll do massive damage to those death horrors. Yeah. Right, turn three for uh, 
good call. Mm. So one of the only things that sucks playing that type of list is having no shooting phase whatsoever is so boring. Okay. Yeah. So an extra king, an extra king. And it's also... <laughs> it also so so what, what was your suggestion here then, Tom? What do you think is the um, the play on the bottom right? For... I'll be back. Sorry, guys. We'll be back in a second. Yeah. New for Paul. Yeah. Yeah, so for Paul, I think put the Forest Guard troop into the Eternal. Back the Silver Bees off and rotate them. Uh, you want to? Uh, it might be a bit hard now because before where he was, the the forest guard shoot would probably block the uh, eternal hard, the depth horror, sorry, mm. hard. Um, but you turn them to so they can't nimble charge around into your silver breeze against the eternal, and then the silver breeze can bug out the turn after that, and then you get both troops and the lightning bolt into that hard and see what you can do there because you're looking at uh, five damage from the uh, shots and then another four damage really from the lightning bolt. Mm. Ten, eight twice, summit, um, and you'll pick them up the turn after that most likely. So that's a yep. unit strength hard down. And Ooh, this is interesting. Possibly save that troop of silver breeze. Mm. Yeah, so it's the silver breeze just keep moving back and shooting. They'll stay out of their range. So it looks like his king has got a flank on the nooker. Yeah, we yep. saw that earlier on, didn't we? Yeah. There's a little gap. Mm, it's, it's doing some at least. Yeah, I, I like it. It's it's damage. It's damage that you're not having to give up a lightning bolt to do. That's right. Um, you know, at, at this stage, that that's your your priority, really, isn't it? Is to to do as much damage as you can to as much stuff, and any time you're not having to use your shooting to do it, brilliant. Yeah. Yep. Um, And depending on how Paul moves up, they might be just free wounds. So yeah. I don't know that he can stay there. He can't really afford to turn around and fight him. And he can't send no. him into the king either, because that's a waste. That's right. He's not going to kill the king. That king's going to be a right pain in the ass now. Mm. Yes. Literally for a... Oh, we're saying about elven kings, not be very good. Well, actually, on a horse, they're excellent. <laughs> on foot. On foot, though. That's why it's a 35-point upgrade. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot, isn't it? Expensive at elven horses. Mm. Even that elven king on foot can be quite quite uh, devastating because of the the mighty rule, and he just moves up with the troops and blocks units down, pins them in. I mean, he can, he can now True. find that pinning down depth horrors up top can the uh, guy on foot, but he'd have been doing it a turn earlier on a horse, and it's important. Hmm. Mm. He probably just doesn't have the points for it. No, he'd, he'd, well, I mean, he could drop, but a drop duelist and life leech off of the other mounted king, and he's found fifteen points. Uh, mm. it, just drop a strider, I think, off of a. Uh, I don't know if you want to do that. No, nah, probably doesn't. Duelist, definitely. Yeah. Well. So the cavalry regiments in the middle, can we just see what, what they've got arc and range of? Sure, yeah. Should be just outside of the... Yeah, so left turn one. So that's, that's they can definitely charge, can't they? Can they, can they once the right charge that regiment? So a regiment of... Uh, so the, the depth arrows at the top. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, both can charge. And I wonder if that... I wonder Ooh. if a double charge there is a better idea. Yeah. Forget that flank. No, it's outside range. Right, okay. That's set 18 mm -hmm. is the blue line there. It's just in so it's single charge. And you, you, do, you don't want to take that single charge because then you've got the eternal and another regiment just waiting. bearing down on you. Yeah. 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 Well, that, um, that Elven King has also got Sabretooth Hunting Cat. That's another 10 points. <laughs> Which is dualist, oh. isn't it? Oh, yeah, so that is that. It's not the throwing weapon anymore. Right, yeah. No, it's Julius now, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh King into the knocker. Has he either not seen the horde or. Mm. Uh, I... Mm. I don't like it. It's just it's another no. turn now where you can't advance those up in the way you'd like. 
And you're not guaranteed that the King's going to even, even sit the knocker down, actually, let alone kill no, no, you're not. Not at all. Um, mm. And it just means that your, your hard can't advance as it wants to. Yeah. You can't oh, like the Boulder but, uh, anymore. But then again, I think other targets are better for the lightning bolt than the knocker now. Yeah, I, agree. I think anything, as I was saying, anything you can do in combat is better, really. Um, yeah. If you lightning bolt that regiment of um, death horrors that the cavalry can charge, fine, you can't do it because it's still. Yeah, no. Mm. Yeah, well, he's going to have to go for a target on that side, but he's, yeah, mm -hmm. he needs to get over to the right ones, I think. Undo, undo, undo again. Get that All the right. juicy targets. Has it seen the charge? Has it seen the charge? Pull the king out. No, he's not. Oh. <laughs> I did think the palace guard hall would have been a much better choice there. Because on the reform, you can turn and put yourself on the hill as well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. As and it is team... now, that hill is effectively taking you out of the, you know, the game again. <sighs> you know, they've had that forest taking them out of the game for so long, and now that hill is, you know, blinding that spearman hard. <laughs> See, now he's now having to be cautious about that knocker, assuming he's yeah. not going to waver it. Yeah. What do you do with your... I can't want to say silver is not still very storm wind them. Uh, at the moment, make a nice pretty line out of them. There you go. <laughs> oh, lovely, God, the lovely little pretty battle line. Yeah, well, I think if they stay out of range of the depth horrors up on the left, I'd be putting pressure on the knuckers now that they're not facing them. Mm. Yeah, like, he's been given a chance there with that yeah. exposed depth horror hard to pick them up and then just bug out with everything. Like keep the storm and you can keep the storm in back at that point, take a safe scenario. Maybe use them to threaten the knuckers because the knuckers are. Well, uh, what's going on here? Covered by a, a, any depth horror units. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh no. See what you can do. Is the king changing his mind? I thought he was because he, he rewound him, but you could put that king to the right side depth for a unit in the center there. Then it'll pin yeah. it in and also pin the unit behind it in because they can't see it. And then the palace guard hard go in, and then both those units will then be chargeable by the palace guard next turn. Mm -hmm. So they're not getting away. Yeah, because the king could have gone in there safely because no one could see him. Yeah. To to double up on him. Maybe start putting the lightning bolt into that center eternal because uh, there's no cover and it's going to be a right pain in the ass late game with it being nimble. Yeah. 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 But anyway, he hasn't done that. Yeah. Well, he is the one that can get away from all those units. Lightning yeah. bolt's the only thing that can stop him if, if Ben plays it properly. Mm. Playing out in, the, in your head, that one extra unit strength is. Quite a deciding factor, really, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. The yeah. way it's shaping up. He said originally, if he killed everything on the left, he'd still be a unit strength down. So having one more unit strength to have to kill from somewhere. Hmm. He can also put some pressure on some of the lightning bolt casters. Hard to pin them, obviously, but mm. get enough angles on them. So he's back to the Silver Breeze troop. Yeah, that's mm. the best thing, I think. I'm guessing he's still in range of that eternal, isn't there? Yeah, he is. He needs to, he he? Needs to put that eternal down. The sun is he's, on the troop. Yeah. So he's, well, he's backed up the other troop again. I, I'm not sure why he's backing that forest guard troop up. Well, I'd say he's done it to get the. If if he does put the eternal into the cab, then he's got the flank on it. Mm. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it'd be it'd be a hindered eternal, won't it? Because it's straight yes. lands over the wall. Yes, it shouldn't kill um, them. Have they only only got five attacks over there? Not. Yeah, five attacks. Five? Okay, yes. No, it's five. Five on threes, crush two. No vicious or anything. Ah, that's all right then. Oh, terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <unit. That's it. laughs> I don't know what everyone's talking about. <laughs> I only ever run three of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where are the lightning bolts at the moment? I'm, I'm guessing the one on the left hasn't moved yet. 
Uh, Lightning Bolt is there. Middle side of the central hill. Bang on the centre. So do you ignore your shooting now on the, le- on the left and focus everything on the right? Yeah. I would, yeah. I don't think you can get that much to the right on this turn with that one to the far left. Mm. Might be able to get a knucker or something, but I think he's out of range from the juicier targets. Even though I, I just focus fire and takes out that um, eternal on the left-hand side. Mm. I don't think he'll kill it in one go. He'll need a couple of turns. No, it shouldn't do, yeah. yeah. It is effectively a, the depth a of the nerve. Depth horror is a much better target on the right. But you can only get one of them into it. Mm. Okay, so he's moved on to the hill. Yeah. Can we just click on him, John, just to see where his 24-inch range is? Yeah, sure. The one on the hill, sir. Mm. Yeah, so nowhere near the... Um, the depth are hard on the right. Yeah, that's what I thought. He probably got range to the knuckers, has he? And mm. no, uh, yes, yes, the yeah, like, so, yeah. yes, just about. So, so yes. it's still going to take him a couple of turns to get over there yeah. while he's lightning bolt. I like what he's done. So I like what he's done with the spearman hard on the left, just by holding it back a bit. The, the hill isn't blocking his line of sight quite as much anymore. Mm. Um, you know, just it frees him up a bit. You see a lot of people push up and kind of ignore the fact that they're, they're going to be blinded by hills. Mm. He yeah. hasn't given a flank to the knucker, has he, with the palace guard? I think he might have done. It looks like no, he's he hasn't. Uh, no, he hasn't. He hasn't? Oh, no, just, no. yeah. just, just not, yeah. Just, yeah, if he doesn't waver it or something, I was wondering. Mm. Yeah, no, that, that was, uh, Jeff, I was with you on that one. I was, I was looking and going, that's very, mm. very tight. <laughs> yeah, because we get a mouldy charge that way. Could hurt. He's repositioned his cavalry. So he has he's, he's got rid of his halt. Yeah, to focus on the uh, on the left hand side. So yeah. is that is that true part of line of sight of both knuckers there? Looks like it. Because actually, I like how he's got that troop there. That that yeah. snuck through a oh, lot of yeah. things he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and right. the eternal as well. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's yeah. That's sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it means they can't then stay and fight that king. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, yeah. A, that's a really nice little sneaky use of a, a troop there. I like that. Mm. I think you could do with pushing up the um, the other silver breeze a bit more aggressively, though. Um, There's nothing holding them back, is there? No, because the... The knuckers can't see him. Knuckers oh, can't... As he moves forward, the knuckers knuck will be able to see him. Yeah. So they're not shooting them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'd be interested to see what he, his priority targets are here. I don't see him try and blow up that hard. Yeah, I think that's what he'll do. Paul knows yeah. him pretty well. Yeah, he can get best two target. silver breeze and lightning bolt into it, can't he? Yeah. As you say, even if you don't kill it this turn. Here we go. Yep. Oh. Yeah, right, just... he's hit on fives now, so statistically speaking, he'll hit with a lot more than he has before. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not even an elite. That's how elves usually work, don't they? They wait till they hit on fives, then they hit with all of them. <laughs> Fours and twos. Oof, better. Oh, and the ones. Oh, five oh, hits. working now. Yeah. He's turned the elite on. There we go. Four more. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they do. Damage just starts to knock rack up on these quite fast, doesn't it? When it, yeah, when it goes. yeah, definitely. It's only the smaller lightning bolt, though, isn't it? It's not a lightning bolt. Um, eight coming on them. Eight, so yeah. that, that's the eight. No, yeah. this, this is the big one. Oh, yeah. Is it? Is, is it the big one? Yeah. Oh, now, yeah. Mm, three. Hey, at least doing work. Four. <laughs> three more. Three more damage. Nope to nines. It's nine twice, it's doable, it's unlikely, but it's doable. The thing is, they can't do anything next turn, so they're still going to be a sitting no. target. Yeah, they're they're just going to be a target again, yeah. It's going to have to start yeah. throwing the heroes up in the way. 
it's really like, interesting for both players actually how much of their arm it, it is doing nothing <laughs> except just being yeah. unit strength they yeah. the, the both made the choice to effectively forgo a good chunk of their army yeah. yeah Ben needs to get his regiments up in front of the hordes to give himself some cover mm. take the wounds on them instead so fine nerve I'm guessing it's like yeah it's another one nerve isn't it Mm. Other ones fearless. Yeah, that's fine. There should be two nerve checks. No. Uh, the, and the fearless are the other ones, so it's um Ah oh, right, sorry, yeah. Yeah, dash fifteen the yeah. ones up top. So it's a king. Yeah. One wound. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it a six, is it to waver him? No. Oh, 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 oh. I'll just just do that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll just roll the eleven. I'll do it. No, he had a good chance of popping it. I can say he did. Yeah, he should. He should yeah. Probably should have killed him there. But so the king's on the hill. Hmm. King of the hill. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got the hinder charge. It's a nooker. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, like... Run. <laughs> One wound. <laughs> well, they're consistent. Yeah. Still think it's a freebie, so... Yeah. Something. Like you say, you can't... You can't really, you know, do much in response to that now because you, you're no. not going to kill it and you've got that, that sneaky little troop. Yep. Okay. I thought he would have moved the cab up to threaten them, but the troop will do it. So, mm. top... Bottom of three. Bottom three, is it? Yeah. And Ben's got a lot of thinking to do here. Hmm. So interestingly, Paul hasn't lost a unit yet. Or mm. taken any damage. Or no, yeah. even being threatened with damage. Yeah. No. So That's Ben started in a very strong position, but has, yeah. you know, by this point has done not a lot but move and get shot. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Having no shooting at all is a real hindrance to the list. That's for sure. Mm. Hmm. And again, when most of your arm is uh, speed six. Yep. You have a shooting. Yeah. yeah. But it's speed six. Turn mobile. three should be where your speed six is. A, yeah. Mm. You know, turn three should be where your speed six units are charging. And yep. nothing's threatening anything. No. Mm. No, because, I mean, because uh, Paul just pulled everything back on that right flank, didn't he? He just kept moving them back, mm. drawing them forward. So he's, he's yeah, well, he'll do a lot more damage with shooting than he will in combat. So yeah, it's, it's basically a denied battle. Never mind deny flank. It's just I'm not I'm not engaging on that side. I'm moving away. I'll plink plink you until that's plink. a good point, Matt. If the if the knucker that got charged by the king withdrew sideways, he could have seen the troop. Mm. That's a nice play with that knucker. Hmm. Yeah, he has totally bugged out there. And again, he's, he's saying, right, you're going to have to deal with me now. Yeah. And charging him won't stop him either. No. No, you're right. Around. I like that play with the knucker there because that, it says you've got to deal with me and it means that all your shooting again has to focus on the knucker, not the, yeah. the hordes. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the defence fall makes a difference. Yeah. And you, you're putting all that shooting just into... Um, you know, unit strength one rather than unit, unit strength, strength three. One. Exactly. Yep. Morning, Steve. Morning, Steve. <laughs> what time do you call this? Jesus. So, obviously, that Silver Beast troop can see the knocker. That can't. Ooh. You'd turn and shoot, though, wouldn't you? 
You do. I think you do shoot it, but it, like I say, it's a, a shame really for Paul that he now has to put all that shooting into it. Mm. Yes, dude, get on it. You're letting the entire community down. If he comes down with that regiment and and pivots it, he'll give him a fair bit of cover too for that uh, wounded mm. horde. Yeah, that's why I think he just used the uh, eternal and the regiment just to complete the cover. Yeah, for being shot. I would. So obviously the eternals charge the silver breeze. Yep. You're right, Tom. I think shutting that down with the troop would have been more important to keep your shots going um you know the shooting is his battle plan here isn't it and he's now one of his shooting units is now being pinned and also one of his units that could have bugged out and gone and got some some you know unit strength at the end of it, some scoring at the end of the game i mean as a can flank him now yeah yep but then he's unlikely to blow through you're trading two unit strength and a drop for uh one unit strength yeah. Yeah, because the turn after the the harder regiment and harder just going to mob that. And that's yeah. when you kill it. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, a troop in the flank isn't guaranteed. No, yeah. the tunnels are that hard to kill for very cheap. Yeah. Forest guard, a melee three ten attacks about there. Yeah, well. melee three ten attacks, thunderous one. And Twenty then, attacks on uh, threes and threes do it. And oh, they're well. elite as well, aren't they? I yeah. think. Yes. Make a difference. Yeah. It should kill it. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it lived. Yeah. It could do. No, I wouldn't. It's, it's, um, it's dicey. And it's just upsetting that it's dicey when it's a little. Yeah. <laughs> little yeah. piddly thing. Well, I'll say that there, actually. A, a lot of the units to be. In the flank, ignoring the there as well, and it's still not like not yeah. well, it's edgy if it's going to kill it or not. You're getting like 14 hits. Oh, no, it's got like 15, six, 15 with elite. Um, nah. uh, uh, yeah, you, it's 16 hits. You're looking at 10 to 11 damage. Yeah, that's if you hit average, so a little bit below average yeah. or a low nerve roll, and he survives. Silver Breeze might come true. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Silver Breeze will. Wouldn't think there we go. Can. Measuring where the halfway line is, so it looks like the regiment. So is he contemplating? So it's Ben's turn. So is he contemplating what? Blocking them up? I don't know. He's not going to pin them down for the next three mm. or four turns. Yeah, no. He could throw two in to save one, maybe. Mm. Is invade wholly across? No, majority, no, um, majority now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I changed it in third edition. To benefit dwarves. <laughs> it's not worked, clearly. <laughs> I did, I did find that argument a bit interesting when it said it's to benefit dwarves. But it benefits everybody, so it doesn't benefit dwarves. <laughs> any, any buff that buffs everything doesn't buff a particular army. No. Yeah. Like the logic with whoever goes first. You know, extra charge range from. Yeah. It was like the logic of extra charge range from measuring anywhere on the base. It's like, it's, but, like but so it. does your opponent. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's he doing? That's, that's not charge. You can't do it. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, just check it. I'm not sure I would have taken that charge anyway. You know, again, throwing Silver Breeze away is probably not the best idea. You know, they they are a unit that can can carry on doing you know doing chip damage all game, but then at the very end can just turn and go twenty inches across the board. Yeah, and you know, yeah, go. Uh, every part of the game. 
which is why I think it was a mistake not to protect that that trip on the bottom right better. Mm-hmm. You know that if it was the other way around now and that everything had moved up like this, the silver breeze could just you know swing left and bug out and put more shots on the um, the knocker that's come down to flank. Yeah, yeah, threaten the knocker's rear at that point. Considering Paul was being mm-hmm. so careful about drawing backing things away, um, yeah, he left himself a bit. Mm. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Yeah. So the unit strength ticker is not looking as um, as no. stark as it was to start with. No. Only a four point difference. Unless Ben can kill some stuff, you'd favour Paul. Ooh. Mm. These landing balls, I think, are going to be a, a big deciding factor out there, really. Yeah. yeah. Interesting question. If the regiment uh, was within one inch. You can't end up closer. Yeah, so if you if you start your turn within an inch, you can you can move freely, but you have to end further away than you started. Yeah, yeah so it that's looks like it would do yeah, you don't have to end an inch away though. You just have to end further away than you started. Yeah. yeah. It's an interesting rule. I don't like it so much because it means that you can't... That position there, for example, they couldn't sidestep um, because then they would end the exact same distance away they started. So it, it sort of arbitrarily freezes certain units in place. Hmm. And I, reg- I don't think that was the intention mm-hmm. when they wrote the rule. The regiment there could sidestep and be more than an inch away, oh, further away than when it started. But yeah, but yeah, if, if you're exactly par- mm. yeah, so no. but if you're exactly parallel with the unit, you can never um, you can never sidestep. Exactly. That's, yeah, that that's too close. Back away. Rotate around. Rotate. Rotate. Yeah, but, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> Back a bit more. Back a bit more. I don't. I don't think it matters huge, does it? In this, in this yeah. sense, but no, it, it's it's uh, probably about three or four degrees. Yeah, and it's a it's a fiddly rule. <laughs> that it's very easy to. Um, it is when you start tight because you can't yeah. see. It's not, you know, it's literally going down to pixels difference. It's like yeah. More, it's, it's more yeah, I think on the tabletop you've just sort of got to give it as a um, on trust, haven't you? Yeah. Well, that is interesting. Chasing a, a fast moving character. You can just bug out very, very easily. I guess it's also. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, protecting the troop, isn't it? Yeah. Because I'm guessing the knuckle is going to turn so it's not being flanked by the troop. Yeah. Again, the. There's a, there's a lot of points over there doing not a lot. The, this entire game so far has been, for Ben's side, has just been his knuckers. Hmm. That's the strength of knuckers. You can play an entire game with them. Well, you can. and it's But it's interesting because he's turned that regiment to protect his knucker, but now he and looks like knuckers, he's... Knuckers buggering off. He's running the knucker away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you, the, the, the turn only really made sense if you were... Chasing if you were going to protect your knucker, otherwise you're chasing a speed, yeah. speed eight. Well, is it speed nine or speed ten for your uh, your king, nine. Speed nine. Nine. Uh, nine. Yeah, yeah, it's the silver breeze that ten. Yeah, so it's a it's a speed nine nimble individual. This no, no, that seems a bit odd. I, yeah, I you can't catch it. I don't understand why he's done that. It may be something mm-hmm. I can't see or. the kill box I guess in that middle area again it feels like he's changed his plan halfway through mm. yeah mm. I mean to be fair everything on the right side is pretty much within 24 inch so it's pretty much over the board isn't it um, yeah it's all scoring now I think keep yeah, everything, up, everything there alive is the uh, the plan 
Now, I'm guessing where he's done that there, I'm guessing the Nooker is in flank range of the Silverbreeze. And he isn't just throwing those, that regiment away. It doesn't look like it is. And I would have thought he'd no, uh, do well. that. Nope. Mm. That would have been a good move if he did it. Mm. Maybe. That so I'm not sure what the, the use of the regiment is there other than to die. Mm. I'd like to see the Eternal push up with him, really, at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Force that as long as it can do it while staying out, out of arc of the um, palace guard. Yeah. yeah, everything has to move up now. I'm trying to to slow down the advance of the cavalry into the uh, into his own half. Hmm. Is that out of arc? Do you? It is now. Yeah. Oh. Of the palace guard. Yeah. Yeah. Is it yeah. out? Just yeah. Yeah. Okay. Out. Just out. Fair enough. Hmm. I mean, I'm not sure what my choice would have been on that side, but I don't think it's that. Hmm. Because that, that Eternals... Oh, because they, they will be on the hill, won't they, sir? Yeah. Oh, they're both on the hill. Yeah, it's not, no. They're both on the hill, so the Eternal will actually be able to see the um, the um, cavalry next turn to join him. He will. He will. Yeah, the cavalry's slightly wider, so I think you might, you might be able to see. That. But from that angle there, you, you, I don't think you'll be able to see the overlap. No, it's only twenty-five no, mils on either side, isn't it? See him then. Yeah. They're both on the hill. I think. I think his current plan is if he picks up one of those cavalry regiments and then the troop. That's twelve unit strength from Paul's that's on mm. uh, his side of the board. But on, in return. He's likely to lose the depth or a hard and another one of the single unit strength guys, so that depth or eternal is likely to go. It still puts him at twelve to thirteen unit strength, so he's still ahead on unit strength as long as he picks up a regiment and the troop. Mm -hmm. uh, that's you know, I think I think that's the plan. If he, he's done the massive thing, that's one unit strength victory out. That'll do. Um, I suppose he has to do something, doesn't it, this stage? Because he's just getting shot at the, the moment. Yeah, he's, he's going to bleed it otherwise, isn't he? Yeah. Mm. He's forced uh, Paul's hand a little bit with the cab and that as well because uh, Paul has to watch being reared by the other knucker if he doesn't shut it down. We, um, if we scroll up, can we see how far that depth of our regiment moved? It's hard to see, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> with lots of different um, undos. Is it? It's that one up there, isn't it? That's the internal, isn't it? I think it's a bit, a bit higher up. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, 12.6. Blatant cheating. I don't think it matters too much, though, because they're not they're not just out of arc, are they? Although, actually, it probably would matter for the fact that the Eternal couldn't have um, got so close and then been out of arc. Come back. Okay. Two hits. Two wounds. Mm. Should be fine. Yeah. Where was them? And they 11 13, those things? Yeah. Oh, they'll be fine then. Yeah. Oh yeah, three and five. Yeah. It was like five and five for me. <laughs> was that a mass fail there, Ellie? Or do you thought three was the route? No, it's a it's a, a slightly pixelated screen fail. Ah, look, look like a five and five. <laughs> okay, right. I mean, the... King going into the bottom of five. Bank. Paul not wasting any time there. I like it. Mm. Cavalry into the regiment. So what are you going to do with Pascard here then, guys? 
cup of tea time. <laughs> um, Paul's going to do I think something. The palace guard, effectively. Sorry, Ellen. I mean, I, I, I move. So I move them and turn them to try and support the, the, you know, the, the stormwind fight that's going on there. Yeah. Um, but they're, they're not going to get much use out of them, are they? Really here? Yeah. No. Yeah, I think uh, you're right. Move, move slightly forward, then do a pivot round. So it's a turn of what nearly ninety degrees. So you've got both the regiments in your arcs. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I think he, the, he sort of. Sorry, go on. So the king's not going to kill off that uh, that regiment, or shouldn't do. No, 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 he's not. But he's going to get a few wounds and keep him up there. I think the problem here for Paul is that bottom knucker. Yeah, and, and I think that probably can see is in oh, range of the um the cab on the hill is what I'm thinking. Yeah, because he. Ben's going to lock him down, and if he's locked down, then yeah, he's going to cop a flank somewhere, unless Paul can do something about it. So he's trying to see if he can. I see. I don't. Which one is he trying to trying to charge? Charge, charge the, the knucker, knucker, I think. Yeah, look at here. Which, which one though? The or the middle one? The, the one close to him. Yeah. Right, I was going to say, yeah, because I, I, I don't like the idea of charging the other one. No, you want to shoot the other one. Yeah. Mm. So he just scooted around the uh, Eternal there. Through the woods. And suddenly he's got a regiment of uh, pointing in the wrong direction with nothing to... Mm. Yeah, that was always... Yeah. Gonna happen. Guarding nothing. Yeah. yeah. You know, the, he was there to guard the um, the knocker and the knocker ran away. Yeah. Is that, you know, that, that king's going to suffer because he's got that uh, horde breathing down his neck. Yeah. So the, the spearman can kind of move up and threaten the top regiment because yeah. he can't go at the double to escape them because there's a you know, that, that field in the way. Yeah. yeah. Palace Guard can can mop up whatever's left after the Stormwind, but obviously there's a and you know, threatening the knucker in theory. He's got not enough turns left to charge across his line and then move back still. Mm. Um I don't know what you do with the other Stormwind though. I think you have to just guard yourself against that knucker effectively because it's you get again yeah. dictating the um the pace of play. Yeah. You really there are little buggers out there. Better. So it's now working out how many lightning bolts you can get into that uh, badly damaged horde. Problem you've got though is that you're then going to be to do that. You're in knocker range. Yeah. Um, and it's whether you, you're you're risking, you know, you're putting your your lightning bolts that are going to be absolutely key, sort of in in danger range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or do you just accept that the knockers are a pain and you throw them at the knockers instead? Hmm. Well, it's turn four. So he's going to get healing back the, the damage, so you can, you can just leave it. Where is yeah. he going there? Uh, I'd really want to get that Silver Beast troop out of there. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Yeah. The knocker isn't after that, I don't think. So, pivot, move, pivot back. To end up being side on with the knucker at the bottom. Mm. I don't think you could possibly. Has the knucker on the bottom got range to the cav that's fighting the Death Horror Regiment? Uh, six, twelve, eight, no. No. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that's a shame. That, 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 that would have been a real things a bit then. Yeah. Yeah, it, I was. it was in range. No, I'm sure it hasn't. Yeah, it's so that six, twelve, eighteen's there. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um... Hmm. I think I'm preferring Ben's position at the moment after the. Sorry, um, Paul's position. Yeah, I think so too. You know, I, I, 
we said at the start, didn't we, from looking at it, it was um, Ben's game to lose. Yep. <laughs> He's yeah. doing his best. <laughs> yeah. That's a, I think it's the issue you've got is that you've got so many points in all those depth hours that are just doing nothing. All game. Yeah, um, he needs to be fighting. All game has been because... Mm. Yeah. And I understand the, sort of the logic around it that you had such a an overlap in terms of unit strength, um, but none of that's been able to be utilised. No. Um, but then I, I congratulated him on his deployment at the start. I thought it looked really good. So oh, I thought so too. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because he was more conservative with the knuckers rather than pushing them up and getting in there, which has led to this kind of scenario where he's bled too much unit strength. Yeah. Yeah. There was a couple of odd turns where, like, moving him into the forests, where they sort of didn't do anything and they, and they allowed units to push forward. Yeah. And it's, it's still... Paul is nowhere near scoring at the moment. No, not at all. He's, he's still got a, a good way to go, actually. And he's got... There's a good chance that regiment will get picked up because, you know, death 5, 5, 16 is not great. And stuff mm. can then threaten them in later turns. Mm. Yeah, realistically, yeah. I, I think actually, yeah, because just just having the unit strength alive isn't enough, is it? It has to be alive and yeah. across the board. And the if it's across the board, it's not. Mm. Yeah. We can't sail through that storm wind. All right, moving on to his troop. The look at it. Mm. Problem the second he touches that forest, the regiment's charging him as well. Oh, let's go that way. Fox goes in the direction. It's given a rear to the knocker, but isn't it? It has, yeah. Yep. It Deep does. I mean, it's got a silver. Uh, it's got a stormwind follow up if it takes it. Yeah. But if he takes it, he's going to turn and face them. So there's no guarantee they'll take yeah. him. No, that's, that's very true, actually. Probably not, to be honest. And then he's got the the eternal and the other knucker. Yeah. At that point, you're thinking the silver breeze and the king will pin down the bottom knucker, stop it from nimble charging, and then the silver breeze. So not the stormwind. Fucking. Just give them different names, guys. Something more different, please. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the bottom stormman can then threaten the flank of that knocker if it goes in on the troop. Yeah. Five minute break. It's still, still down. Five minute break. What? <laughs> <laughs> Someone begin the slow clap. <laughs> interlude, interlude time. Somebody get the organ out. It says, just a minute, Jeff. I'll be back. Yeah, chat on yourselves. So it is cricket commentary now. I need to discuss what sandwich I'm going to have for lunch. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we did tell them to be in live stream. We've not just snuck it on. Yeah. <laughs> I do know that. The world is watching them. Okay, yeah. so back to <laughs> So it's back at the Silver Breeze rather than having them join in. Yeah. So I might just join in at that point. Yeah. Don't think you can do that, can you? No, no. Yeah, yeah, you can. Can you? Because does, does the pivot count as? Do you pivot and stop? So does that have to be out of an inch? No, it's as long as you end your move further away. Yeah. 
As long as you don't overlap. Oh, so yes, you can put that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, no one has sent the commentator's cake, but I'm I'm fully on board with that. <laughs> are, we, are we going now uh, full TMS? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see any buses, but I'm, I am watching aircraft coming through East Midlands Airport. Um, so I, I can, I can, I can uh, turn the camera around and we can watch aircraft come in if you, if you wish. I like that actually. So he is able to, or is he able to get? Is he able to get out of arc of everything? I'd not even really thought of nimble backing up the. Um, he can't. He loses nimble because any unit within snare takes it away from you. Ah, I've got. I don't think you've you, you forgotten that. Remember that. This yeah, is, uh, as a try and run player, it's a it's a huge advantage against uh, other yeah, armies. Actually. Well, he seems to have forgotten because he's nimbling away. Oh, Ben should know that. Yeah, <laughs> should. Look like but uh, it's a really nice. Uh, it's it's in snare and phalanx, isn't it? That, um, yeah, that strips it. Yeah. Uh, maybe Paul's doing it while Ben's away. <laughs> well, there you go. That's why you don't take your, um, your five minute break. <laughs> five minute break. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do this little bit. Well, that's like you, you, you know, your opponent's gone to the loo in a tournament. Just, just remove <laughs> these units while they're there. <laughs> Sweep that lot away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It'd be less likely Paul would remember than Ben, for sure. Yeah. No, it is one of those rules that doesn't come up very often, but when it does... Ah, uh, no. uh, uh, right. No explanation. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I have another question for you. Uh, Death by Dragons, how's... Jeff feeling about ogres after last night. <laughs> uh, I, I really <laughs> liked. I really liked the list I, I ran. Um, just uh, yeah, watch the stream. You'll see what happened. <laughs> I didn't have the yeah. Just one of those things. I, I still like ogres. Oh, he's back. So, we had a bit of movement shenanigans with the other Silver Breeze troop. But I'm not quite sure what he's... No, I'm not quite sure what he's what achieved with them, other than putting them... Yeah, I don't think it achieves anything. He's now sacrificing them. But the one thing that, uh, that Paul doesn't really want is a fight in zone half. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, the Spearman Hard is an interesting one there as well. The Spearman Hard has put himself in quite an easy way to be avoided. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's over the hill. Can't see anything. Yeah. Oh, he's leader leader point's on the hill, I think, is it? He's got the leader point there. Yeah. yeah. Does that mean he can see? I love that rule. You can see, you see through it. Yeah. Mm. But you don't get the height benefit. So, hill, yeah. Hills work a bit like forest now for line of sight. Yeah. Yeah. That came up in my so, game. I wasn't aware that if, if any point of your unit's on the hill, you can be seen. I thought, yeah, yeah I didn't realise that. So I thought it was no, I really like that. So just for clarity, if you're not, if you're just partly on a hill, you you basically ignore the hill. You're in the hill as it would be in a forest. Yeah. So you can see through. Yeah. It. So, so you, yeah. you can, you can, you can hill, see you through the hill. Benefit. Yeah. But you yeah. don't get a benefit. So if if say that hard had a shooting attack and yeah. shot now, units would get cover as if there was a hill in the way. Yeah. Yep. Because because you're not on the hill, you have to be fifty percent on it to be on it, and then also ignore it for cover purposes. Yeah, yeah I realise um, that. But... <laughs> If you've got, say, the corner of your unit touching the hill, someone else can see you even though you're not on the hill. Yeah. Yeah, but that, that was new to me. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Retrieving the, uh, the extra token that's hidden beneath you. So you just spot two shots into the, uh, 
So it's 11 damage on the uh, horde. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, yeah, because the horde is... The horde over here is now on 11 damage. Yeah, the, the, the horde was a 9 wound, not 11, not, not 2. Yeah. Lightning ball 5 at Nooker. Yep. Down here. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Oof. Not very good. One more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, where's where's the lightning eight? Is that in range? Yeah, if you go with roll there, you might put the lightning bolt eight into him as well. Oh, mm. you want a good roll, so yeah, you're right. You're right, Steve. They both have their one cheat. <laughs> oh, lovely. That's oh. a good one. Yeah. Five. But he's going for the horde again. Let's go for the horde, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure I like that. I think I'd want to go for the. Um, the knocker. I think you've got to make sure it's only on 11 damage. I know, but it's not threatening anything either. That's 12 for the knocker. Oh, so fine. Yeah. And the hard's um, gone. The hard's gone, which is nice. That's, you know, it's a, a good chunk of unit strength gone. Um, but then the knocker is, you know, still there. I think this demonstrates what plink plink damage on on uh, shooting can do. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. the, yeah. The death horrors are the ones, as I said, the the hordes are the ones you want to get. Okay, combat. Flank charge. It's the eternal. Mm. It's a bit close. So mm, maybe not. Should do it. We think. Don't we? Oh, oh, no, no. Didn't well do yeah, late. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, look at late there. Look at that. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Suddenly, the late is walking up. Yeah, that's your 11. 11. That's about right. Yeah, yeah. five with the reroll. Oof. Ooh. Just. Yes. <laughs> Oof. Just. Ooh, just. <laughs> <laughs> and turn. Uh, Let's be. That's nice, that, though, because then you've got a hindered regiment and the hard can't see. Yeah. Yeah, the in range, so, I'd so in theory, it, 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 could, it could do it again. Yeah, well, I'd walk the it's, regiment it's, out of the way and just send the hard in. Yeah. You can use the regiment to do that, yeah. as well, so it's a straight pickup. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Can the knights do it? I think it's in that. He doesn't like it. I think on average, I don't think the knights do it, do they? Knights. Falls and twos with elite. the leads. Mm. Are they 16 attacks? Yeah. Eight, yeah. Ten. yeah. It's about eight wounds. Mm -hmm. and there are 15 re-rollable, but he's got one wound on him, so it's a close thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be what? 13, six on a re-roll was average, but... Yeah, yeah a little bit under, and it's a, a whole lot harder. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So at the moment, from from this combat, they're now drawing on the unit strength. It's a big change. And well, Paul's got all the shooting. Four of these units, Paul's units, which aren't going to be scarring, whereas there's one of uh, Ben's which are. Mm. That's a troop yeah. of forest guards. Steve. We have a king, king fighting knocker. I forgot about that. Yeah, go on, yeah. King. It's ended. <laughs> so it's only, oh, it's only two. <laughs> Twelve. Oh, shot. <laughs> if it had brought Brutus yeah. instead of Duelist, they'd have had that. <laughs> <laughs> Make the merciless. Shot those misses. Yeah. They did the exact same amount of damage. Have you noticed that? Both of them did the exact same amount of damage. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very consistent. Yeah. Cavalry fours and twos. Oh, it is the interesting one. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, never mind. Under. Thank God for uh, I can still do it. Mm. Six, mm. Six, seven. Yeah. yeah. Needs seven, eight for the reroll. Mm. Oh, yeah. we go. Oh, didn't matter anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. 
I was just looking at that. The, the depth horror eternal that's behind them, if he's got line of sight to that cab on the other side of the hill, he can actually flank charge them. I don't think he does. True. Well, see, they're all the other two units are on the hill. But yeah. I don't know. So the height. Yeah, I know, at the moment. It won't, it won't have that Might side. be just out. But if it wasn't, it could be uh, tricky. Yeah, I can't see you get a line of sight there. I'll be over there somewhere. Yeah. Down that track. Yep, I think Ben's seen it and he's going for the... Uh... No, he's trying to get it out of the way, yeah. I was going to try to charge the... Uh... Tried, yeah. It won't, oh, I'm going to work. Can't get the angle. No. Nice try, though. So it was depth horror into the um, silver wind breeze. Do you call them silver wind? Yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought nobody noticed, but I think I think I, I think I called them storm breeze earlier. <laughs> So come on then, what's Ben going to do now? Where's that? Nook, where the looker's going to go? Hmm. Do you double charge the uh, the shooty elves on horseback that have got a name that I can't do? I'm, yeah, I'd be tempted to go for the majors, if, even. Hmm? You can definitely see the mage with the eternal. So you measure eternal three, six. How fast? To, how fast are the eternals? Six. Speed six. I mean the uh, mage yeah. with the boomstick. You could nail him and yeah. take the rear on the forest guard troop and shut down the cab with the other one if he wants, or or attack the. How's he doing that double charge? Uh, illegally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <couldn't do> that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very yeah. illegal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think my, my most common saying with Ben is, you can't do that, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very, it has been an interesting match. It's been more interesting than we sort of thought it would have been to start with. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it was going to be a walkover we either side. Of it. Yeah, I just thought that it was going to be a bit of a non-game. Um, it's been a very different game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Bit of blatant cheating going on there, but <laughs> Ben did say it was going to be cat and mouse, and it has gone that way a bit. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, with that move, it's a bit more Tom and Jerry, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Why, like I heard his dial. Hmm. That is interesting. I think that that one makes more of an impact than some of the other interesting ones. Well I mean, it's not huge. We've got, we've got, we've got, how's he done that? Yeah, it's done it again. <laughs> oh, it's the exact same thing again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to tell them, but we have a fairly established rule of um, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, we don't get involved when, when they ask for a query. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's actually a rear oh, now yeah. for those uh, palace guards. Not that it makes much difference. No, the flank should do it fairly yeah, well on the damage. damage. But and there's a troop in the flank, isn't there as well for the other one? Yeah. Could that that for eternal charge in there? No, 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 no. It couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't well, see it. <laughs> yeah. They're using an interest, yeah. interesting interpretation of line of sight. Well, you, you don't need it. I can, I can see it on my computer, therefore I can see it. <laughs> it is, as they say, it's much easier sitting here and seeing the mistakes than when you're playing. It, your it is, it is, absolutely, yeah. 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 It's also, I, mean, it's also um, I found the, the 2D aspect of playing online be very hard for me to visualise how things would look. 
You know, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, the flat absolutely. terrain just doesn't work for me. I need to see something yeah. physically there. Yeah. It's, well, I it's found it very hard going back, as far as going back to the table after playing so much UB. Mm -hmm. My distances and looking at things that, went out. I want some contact lenses with those little arcs built into them so I can look down and <laughs> think. That'd be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Everything's got a little arc around. It's going to be very strange going back to playing. It is. Again. Playing in the third dimension. Mm. I, thought, I thought we can do while while um while they're talking. Ooh, look, ooh. <laughs> Following the, the Nick Williams school of basing. Yeah. Well, Sticking stick <laughs> on, stick on side of a fridge. My work in progress. No, I'm, I'm not magnetizing them. I'm not as brave as Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's going for a rear charge. That's yeah. It's rear, isn't I it? think you have to. Yeah. Eight damage. Yes, they are facing off. Yeah. So now does he yeah. pin the other cav down to protect it, or does he go for the shooting? I would go for the shooting personally. I think it's. Um... Yeah. But I don't think a knuck is going to uh, kill that unit of cav in front. No, it's a, a slower death is that, but if it could pin it down so from getting across the board, that's not, it's not necessarily a bad choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, it's going to be Paul's turn five next, and he, he really does need to start crossing. Um, yeah. It's going to be a big issue for him, actually, soon. I think mm -hmm. he, he has to make real moves next turn to, to cross the board. Mm -hmm. In fact, yeah. what, what's Paul's easiest route to cross the board now? Uh, because in terms mm -hmm. of unit strength over, Ben is very much winning that fight. Yeah. I think we'll, uh, we'll have a clearer picture of it once he's moved that knocker at the bottom. Mm. Yeah. I still don't think it's a bad play going into the cav. Pin them then down there. It, it, does, it yeah. does pin them, yeah. You know, you're right. And then the other one's free to... Either going that that his other cab isn't going too far at the moment either. He'll Once kill. Again. No, no not, not not now. It's got to chew through both of those. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, uh, the palace guard will help. Oh yeah, yeah. He's going to lose the regiment for sure, but I'm not sure about the the uh, eternal. Mm. Especially not now. He doesn't have the flanking troop because they're pretty much yeah. definitely dead. Yeah, you would think so. They're only 10, 12 out there, I think. Not, not even 11, 13. Mm, I'm not sure. I think they're 11, 13. Mm, I think they might be. Oh, yeah, Should be. The same name as Palace Guard. Yeah, 11, 13. Cool. Mm. Right. Defence 3 or 4? Because that makes four. a difference. 4. Well, yeah. losing the Thunderous is going to hurt as well then. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Eight damage. Um, well, yeah, eight damage. Yeah. Inspired. Not inspired though. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Ah, right. Taking out the. Hopefully, it's taking cool. it out. Or, but more of just uh, stopping it being able to shoot across the uh, halfway line. Yeah. For a turn. Not sure. Because he now wants to put his. Uh, uh, I think. Yeah. So that's the king being charged by the horde. Thank you. 
<clears throat> so how's it going to clear off that mess in the, in the um the death horror regiment and the eternal move the cavalry uh, assuming the cavalry survived this 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 counter charge and, and fresh charge they should do mm. cavalry bounces to the right and charges the eternal the yeah. Oh, didn't no. Oh, oh, oh. So I'd say there's no way that that pass guy can zip around and uh, and do a, a rear charge on the. No, you can't can get the eternal. Uh -huh. So the regiment dies, but he won't drop the um, the eternal with the cav because it's going to be disordered. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a bait channel will help, but it's not. Yeah. It's not going to happen. You Which need means. Cav has to go for the other um, knucker up the top or in the centre of the board, which leaves the other one free to then come round and attack the Cav in the flank. So there's no guarantee that Cav unit on the hill is going to survive this. I don't think it will. Yeah. Right. Well, it'll survive this round, but... Yeah, well Second round, it might get killed or wavered by the um, Eternal. Yeah. At that point, the other Eternal's turning up as well. Yeah. Yeah, I would have, oh, okay. would have liked to see the other Eternal come out a bit more, get right into play. Ben's worried about getting zapped by Lightning Bolt, but there's much better targets to shoot than the Eternal. It's a target rich environment. It is indeed. I've had Tom, Paul Tom, one, one quote, shot a horde. Mm -hmm. Tom, did you just quote uh, Top Gun there? <laughs> I think I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come, we're going to have the need for speed then, haven't we, as well? <clears throat> Because the cavalry need to move their ass up the table. So, do we think Ben's just played a bit of blinder now this last turn and just boxed in quite a lot of um, of unit strength into that yeah. middle section bottom? Well, I think Ben's plan is just keep him pinned as long as he possibly can down this end. Even if he loses the units, at the, you know, he's still better off. Uh, what died? Nothing. Uh, still moving. <laughs> yeah, looks like that uh, Death Hall Regiment just shifted sideways. Oh, no. Quite sure what's going on there. Yeah. <sighs> Trying to get out of range of the spears, I gather. I don't know whether it's achieved it. He has. I don't know if you've, you've mentioned it while I was aware, but have you seen um, Anthony's comment about making errors during games? Oh, yeah. You're completely been. right. I think the, the first time I was um, live streamed, I've, I've always thought I was a fairly clean player that didn't make many mistakes. And then you're yeah. sort of horrified when you go back and you see the amount of little errors you make here and there yeah, that yeah. totally were, were intentional yeah. um and you you know you, you and your opponent will, will probably make half a dozen every game without realizing it yeah I mean, we, we are yeah. joking we yeah. say people we, we say we're describing it as cheating it's not it's error Bl blatant cheating yeah. blatant cheating yeah yeah, che yeah. cheating is cheating is intent and there's no intent <laughs> no, no. Eight damage no on it, it is completely an error it's, um... no wavered oh yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna be good. That unit's dead next turn. Yeah, I think so. And that's that's exactly the problem with these kind of units. No headstrong, no yeah. fear, anything like that. Mm. Well, blood and cheating made a big difference, then. That's a very big deal, actually, is that, isn't it, for the game? Um, that much damage mm. on them. Hold on, why are they three and three? They're dead next turn. Because uh, they've only got a crushing threat of the Thunderous. He's looking at the forest no, Why now. the three? They come through the woods, haven't they? No, he was uh, disordered by the king. Ah. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, I should oh, do oh, it. Oh, good. 
Yeah, that. Yeah. He's got problems now. He does. I mean, at least the knocker there is giving the, the Stormwind something to run them to the right side of the board with. Yep. Um, and then he's, the problem the is he's not one. guaranteed to kill him. Yeah, yeah the Eternals are threatening. Yeah, and this, this one, he can't stop both of them. That's the problem. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Five damage. Mm. Big roll will do it. Is it five for the defense three? Oh, there's not. Well, this one's not solid, is it? But it's crushing yeah, one this one anyway. Thunderous and crushing. Yeah. They're fine. Yeah, yeah it goes solid. <laughs> that 11 13 is a big, big difference, isn't it, over a lot of um, fast calf? Mm. Yep. Defense four as well. Hmm. No, they're they're a nice unit of Sylvie's troops. I'm not I'm not as sold on regiments Ooh. as everybody else is. Um, That's interesting. Only five damage. It's king. Eleven. Eleven. He's fine. He's thirteen, fifteen. Fine, yeah. yeah, I think average is six for them, so it's not too yeah. far out of the realm. So he's there to potentially put some more damage on that knocker. You you would really hope he could waver it this turn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, was anyway. just from the some nice rolls going yeah, on here. By that, another illegally dead unit. <laughs> oh, I know, but I think I think that would have been dead anyway, regardless, wasn't it? I was going to say, what <laughs> do you do? Hold on, man. It's wrong. Six by mistake. Oh, it hurts. Yeah, we're gone. That's, that's not really inspiring me, but all right. <laughs> so surely now um, Paul needs to get the that uh, shooty archer cavalry unit out of dodge. Oh, say the name, John. Yes. John say the name. Say the name. <laughs> Storm Breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Horses. Silver Horses. Uh, yes, I agree. He, he really does. Away. Although he might struggle there now with him in that yeah, class. Yeah, you get out now. Uh, that's, that's the other problem from them getting in there when they shouldn't have been, really, is that they're now even further across so the Silver Breeze can't get away when originally they would have been able yeah. to get away. Yeah. If they go up, they're in range of the other Depth Horrors coming. So. so Paul's lost two scoring units there and two unit strength. He was going to lose a third at least now because of it. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think there was any or much chance of those, that Forest Guard troop ever scoring in the game, was there? But it's still, um, you know, losing them still a. A shame. He doesn't have a lot of units trying to lose. Yeah. So, top of turn five. And now Paul Sorkis now surely has to be on crossing the board. Yeah. Yeah. I think the Silver Breeze has to charge the Nooker. Yeah. Gets you in the right side of the board, and it and it puts you in a. But then, with the overrun, he's still giving away flanks in that too, so it's a, bit of a problem. Mm. Yeah, you almost got to not overrun and just um, mm. turn to face, and then. Yeah, maybe you don't. Five inch side step. Yeah, next turn. Side step over. Yeah. Silverbury's that very good, are they? Well, no, it's actually Stormwind. Stormwind that very good, are they? <laughs> I just think that the 14, 16, no headstrong, no anything, is just really not great, is it? 
How many points oh. is a Stormwind Regiment? He's doing his nimble again. <laughs> yeah. I think. Oh, is that is that actually nimble yeah, there? Or just moved sideways. Yeah. No, he, he nimbled it a bit, and then slid <laughs> across. <laughs> yeah. I would have thought Ben well, would remember that he loses nimble, but he's. I think he, I think he's earned that one. Two hundred fifteen points. Two hundred fifteen for them. Oh, compare oh. them to a missile horseman that are the same nerve but get regen and fury. Uh, the, the, these are the missile horsemen with, with uh, nerve 3640. Only when you roll for them. <laughs> I'm not letting They've you go. Got two more <laughs> 42 damage. 42 damage that took that game. End of the game on nine. Beautiful. Unbelievable. Are yeah. the, the spearmen, are they in range of the um, regiment at the top? No. Nope. It's nope. out of the way out of range. Ah. Uh. Couldn't figure out what it was doing and then Jeff Point started and now moved out of range. Like, ah yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, looks like he's going for a flank, I think it was yeah. in the rear there, but I thought it was rear. Really. Mm. No, it's fine. Oof, it's going to be very tricky for Paul to get his stuff out of the way now. It is. It's that that waiver is a big, really big deal. Um, not being able to run forward on the overrun yeah. is a real shame, isn't it? Um, he would be relying on his shooting to do some good damage now. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually be tempted to give up the rear on the silver breeze at the bottom for another another load of shots at, at some just to get another two or three damage because they're going to die anyway. They're not going to survive, so you might as well get shots. Exactly. Off. Yeah, I think has he already moved them? Has he already backed them up? He's already back to up. Yeah, I agree. I, I think I would have been tempted to shoot at um, another knocker. Yeah. Take the Charge one of them with the king. They're um, actually to the game. Yeah. And they're, they're still... They're the things that are going to be one of the bigger threats to your um, your, your damaged silver breeze. Stormwind. Fighty cav. <laughs> Shooty cav. Stabby cav. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like when he dwells with the iron guard and ironclad. Oh, let's be fair though. If it, when it comes to when it comes to really uh, bad maybe, it. <laughs> the, the GW's um, uh, the Space Wolves is amazing. Yes, thunder this, storm that. <laughs> oh yeah, there goes. Remembered it. He's pulled pulled yeah. him back. Yeah, he's remembered it. <laughs> <laughs> now does does that make Ben's cheating more blurton or less? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. You can imagine what the stream now is. Oh, so we're playing by the proper rules now. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> At that point I'd like to see the king join in with the silver reason both going to the knock and just hope. I think so too. He's yeah. gonna shut them down. Yeah. Because the, the king is mighty, of course, so that like you say, having having a mighty king in there is um, it mm. does get in the way. So it's just gone sideways. For what purpose, though? Yeah, I don't other than understand. giving him easier charges. I yeah, suppose no, shooting like, it maybe, but he's not giving a flank charge away. Yeah, but he didn't need to do that, did he? What was he shooting at? I mean, they they do give cover, don't they? Because they are height three of the um. Yeah. Maybe, oh, no. maybe he's going to double charge the top knocker with the king in the the cab and shoot the other one. Right, so if he wants there. to blow through it in one turn, he's better off putting both in. I think so. Yeah, I think he needs the king in there now, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. going that way. Yeah. It's the best move. <laughs> oh, what is it? Individual, do what you want. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what what man is this? I'm going to say it right. So, because that, that to me yeah. is obviously hindered because the closest point is that corner and a straight line is. It's withdrawn one inch. Yeah. 
That's so, you just use your in individual thing to give yourself. Ah, I know. Yeah, you're very right, Sam. Yeah, and if you can do it without pivoting, you have to do. So, yeah, you can. It's one of the sneakier things you can do with individuals. You just decide where your straight line is. I was, yeah, I was going to say, can he pivot to give himself mm. a straight line out of it? Looks like, look like it's what he's done. Oh, it's mm. smart. It's that. I like it. Mm. Yeah, that's the best thing. So um, it looks like the king at the top has gone back into the regiment, is it? And then it's just it's been it's a stood, no, no, it stood, in, it stood in front of him. Yeah. Mighty. So I can't get away. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I like it. So the lightning bolt targets have got to be the that knocker, surely. Yeah. 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 I mean, both it's... lightning bolts combined should. Take the knocker down to at least a waiver. Yeah, yeah. I yeah really like like lightning. Put one on and just lightning move. thirteen. Yeah. Clean shots. Seven, to eight, three, four, four to five wounds. So yeah, should be in waiver territory on average. But I agree. I, I would. What Tom said, I would have liked that silver breeze troop, except in the inevitable. You know, just to have spun around and and putting a few more shots on. Yeah, as it is, he's, he's going to shoot a fearless depth our regiment. He's not going yeah. to kill it. No, he's not going to do it. Yeah. Hey, if he does that, it'd be great. It would be great, but it's unlikely. <laughs> Two units, something. very, very unlikely. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> LV13. I assume it's LV13, but. It's a level 13 knocker. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, Nine right. hits. Pull them all together. I don't, there's no fun on them yeah. all together. Just wait and see. I mean, that's Seven a great one. Yeah, you can pop him on this one. Only needs a six. If he does pop the knucker, he might be able to get that regimen on the next turn with shooting. Mm. Oh, damn. Oh. Never mind. That's... <laughs> Never mind. That sucks. Ooh, that sucked. Mm. Well, if it had yeah, turned it around, we got that. If it had turned that silver bees around. Yeah. 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 Uh, 9, 11, 14. Yeah, would have wavered him. Wouldn't have killed it, but would have wavered it. That's important. That's the most important bit. That, that's a dead Stormwind Regiment now, isn't it? Yeah, he's one losing one of them yeah. now. Yeah. He's really losing one of them. Now, surely this should be a dead. Mm. It's double one territory. Yeah. Which is always the most dangerous rules. <laughs> <laughs> tried. Tried his hardest. He tried very hard. Slide to the left. Yeah, slide up. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> yeah, what slide. the hell? You got a slide issue. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, real do you, Alan. Cavalry four and twos. Mm -hmm. I think with the king, this should. Yeah. That's a good roll. 11. Yeah. 11. Good. Yeah, yeah a good roll. Oh, yeah. it's very good. That's yeah. very good. Yeah. <laughs> king there, king there should tip it over into. Oh, oh, he liked that. He liked the danger zone. Black king's all right, right, Brick. <laughs> oh, the king's failed his consistency of always doing two. It's goosed in there. So he remembers yeah, to heal. The problem is, though, you've, you've you've got to turn now. You need to face the eternal and the um. And you can't afford to well, Yeah, I don't know. 
is going to get flat. Right? So if it gets him up, up, up on the other side, it's yeah. got a good eye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right, yeah. <laughs> but I think if he, go, if he goes forward, the angle is out. He brings himself in range of the regiments of Death Horrors. Mm. Yeah. He, he's not in a good he's place in, at all, though. He's in range of the regiment at the moment. Yeah. So if he pivots to face so, them, that um, that Eternal will be in the rear. Yeah. Yeah. Not so wavering that knocker was yeah. a real pain. The knocker can take out the cab and the, the Eternal can go into the rear if he faces. So whichever way is not in a good spot. Unless he angles it out of the arc. Which is possible, I suppose. Okay. King. <laughs> I wonder why. That's an odd choice. Yes, no. I think that's probably the worst possible option there because now you can't. Really yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, I guess you well, could unless, unless he wants the inspiring. But... Yeah, I think, I'm guessing he wants the inspiring, but. Okay. <sighs> Well, that unit's already inspired from the, the wizard down at the bottom. The, uh, the way yeah. unit. Yeah, we've got inspiring here. So there's nothing for inspiring to be moved over. So he's leaving the venom. Just leaving it there. Okay. I think he's given up both cab there. Yeah, I agree. The Eternal goes in the front. That's going to pin him from getting to the other side anyway. He's, it's not good. Yep. We'll see if he sees the other Eternal. That's in the flank. They're also in range because you didn't actually pivot that unit at all. He left them. If you'd have pivoted them slightly, they'd have been out. 9, 12, 30, yeah. But it's definitely a flank charge. Ah, uh, yeah, well done. Look at they were out of it when I moved them. Yeah, you didn't pivot them. Yeah, you didn't actually pivot that storm. You left that storm in completely. Yeah, you didn't move them at all. Okay. Yeah. Look, Paul. Paul, I think that might have been your fault, there, mate. <laughs> yeah, that, that moving the king straight across the front of them didn't help. There's not a lot you could have done there. Yeah. I can back him out. All he had to do was pivot. If it had just pivoted that unit a couple of degrees, it'd have been out of a uh, out of range. Yeah. But he, he never touched them. Right, if, he, if, he, if he looks back at this game afterwards, he's going to kick himself for that. Yeah. 
and seize the other eternal because they're not a given to take that unit down being both hindered. But it's not getting away here. They're not getting away then. No. Uh, realistically, that other eternal is going to waver the storm wind. Yeah, but he's got the knucker to take him down. He can go straight into the flank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And kill him. Well, you might want to just pick up the silveries with that knocker. Yeah, possibly, I suppose. One less human source, it's one less thing that could possibly get into your, your rear lines or uh, into the opponent's, uh, your opponent's half as well. Yeah. I think I'd like all the cab dead. And there's just not enough unit yeah. strength. Paul forgot to heal his king as well because he's got life leech on that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot that. Not that it's a huge thing. So what's he going to do with the nooker that's surviving? It's either the silver breeze or the storm wind. Yeah. In a flank of either. You're going to storm it, wouldn't you? Sorry, this is the uh, Silver Breeze. Straight into there. Oh, were they um, in the flank of the uh, regiment in the end? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he forgot to move the storm wind. Oh. So he overrun the king, didn't, didn't pivot the storm wind, and left them in by about two mil. If it had just pivoted slightly, it'd have been out. I think you missed it. Now, am I wrong to say in a tournament, am, am I the soft bugger that would go back and say, well, if you meant to do that, that's fine? Or is that is that a tough moment? Hmm. It's different when you're playing in person because you're talking to each other as you do it. And you're saying, right, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking about it, I'll do this, leave this out, that kind of thing. Yeah. I'm pulling that out, yeah. I know in our uh, games that we have normally, which aren't in tournaments, with these guys, we usually let each other take it back if they mm -hmm. meant to, to do it. But, um, yeah. It is Paul's mistake, but, so. Yeah, no, it was, it was definitely in. It's a perfectly legal, yeah. legal movement, it was there. Yeah, so I can't blame Ben for taking it. No, not at all. So at the minute, they're back to tying on unit strength. Um, obviously, that's probably going to change quite considerably this turn. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the issue really is it's not it's not the unit strength; it's where it is. Yeah, you know, it's mm. it's a lot more in in well, Ben's favour, isn't it? It's sat on the right yeah, side of the board. All Ben's, apart from that regiment, is over. Yeah. He's got 14. And then, yeah. If he takes the cab out and then uh, <laughs> moves, moves the things down, Paul can't even chase him with his infantry mm -hmm. because they're going to be going the wrong way. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it looks like both these cab are going to disappear this term. Yeah. 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 I would have rather the Eternal into the other unit. But... Yeah, yeah really make sure, because that in the flank should do it by itself. Yeah, yeah I think so. Well, uh, Paul's still got a chance here. If he can get both of yards across, that's eight unit strength. He's got Silverbreeze left, which might be able to make it. Uh, realistically, he's not going to pick up any of the eight unit strength that um, ben has in the bottom right corner between the two holes and the regiment. Mm -hmm. He's, he's, he's going to pick up that eternal with the palace guard. He's going to pick up that knuckle with lightning bolt. And then he's got two turns to try and get rid of a regiment uh, eternal. Essentially. And he's got a king. Well, it's, if yeah, it's he a turn seven, it. he can do it. He's still yeah. got a mounted king. He's got, he's got tools. Um, mm. And on a bad roll, then Stormwind aren't wavered. 
In yeah. fact, actually, it was Dominic probably probably won't be waived anyway. Interesting here as well. He's backing up the, nine, the hard. Four and a half. I'm not sure I'd back the hard yeah. up here. I think I'd want to keep that pressure on. I know he's a fan of our lightning bolts. Um, yeah. But I, I'd be much yeah. moving forward. Really keep the pressure going. But you're not you're not getting away from the lightning bolt. It, it, it's, it's, it's got range, it's, isn't it? It's 30-inch yeah. range, isn't it, really, on those lightning bolts? It's, um... Well, it's also the, the hard. Mm. Mm. If he gets to turn seven, it could be quite interesting. Hmm. Yeah, turn seven is where Paul has a chance. I think turn six, it's Ben's game. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. So by bringing them forward, I think he's stopped he that storm wind going through that gap. Really. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Hmm. Get Thor in the front. Why is it crushing two? <laughs> it just gains so much, doesn't it? Or it's a um, regular counterpart. You know, to gain a defense and a crushing is. Yeah, because usually yeah. Kind of, um, the upgraded version of the unit is either plus one defense or plus one crushing or something, isn't it? Yeah. Not, it's not both. It's both of them. Yeah. And the thing is, it went, up, on, uh, it went up since last edition. That's what I couldn't yeah. understand. Kept yeah. everything else and, and added more armor and cheaper. It's like. I wasn't unhappy with it, but I thought it's yeah. pretty crazy. So the regiment of Stabby Cav are off. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, hopefully this other one dies and we don't have to then get confused about which is which anymore. I'm going for Stabby Cav after that. I don't think you'll yeah, kill him. It's just shooting him. No, but I think you'll no, probably it waver it. Really. As you say, they are pinned there, so. so. Yeah. I mean, as you say, if he doesn't waver it, you know, that's like yet more attacks, isn't it, into something. You'd probably go for the regiment because they're much easier to kill. Yeah, much easier to kill. <laughs> but also more unit strength. Of course, the, the, the more guys are much easier to kill than the less guy. Yes, yeah. definitely easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's he going? Uh, move, try and fall that away. Nope. Now, if you're Paul, do you accept that you can't win on turn six, and do you charge the Palace Guard hard yeah. in when you're to the table Eternal? Two of a hundred and forty odd player tournament, yeah. <laughs> yeah got to yeah. go for the win. Play for turn seven. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be big here, actually, whether they waver the um, or kill this regiment, mm -hmm. because having those sixteen attacks would be very helpful for you know turn seven pickups. If we can do a good chunk of damage to that regiment now. Where's the mounted king? Is he sort of just He's under under the 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 eternal? There. Oh yeah. Yeah. So he can't Yeah, he can't see the regiment to join in, can he? Although that's not actually no. stops anyone well, yet. Yeah, if you, if you do if you use Ben's method of uh, working out <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't teach him that trick. <laughs> <laughs> Line of sight is an arbitrary concept. <laughs> <laughs> is this why Trident Realms are the highest winning faction? <laughs> I think, yeah, I so think this is you, the... um, yeah, I think you put the. Well, well, actually, we'll see what happens with this storming, guys. But you put... oh, yeah, this, this is a big one. Oh yeah. dear. No, that's about right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it looks scarier. So this is what falls and falls. This should be yeah. five damage, four to five. Yeah, damage. Yep. On average, that's still a very, very easy wave of range. Yeah. Ooh, it's above. Never mind. Hey, five, five right. There. Yeah, there you go. Average out. Average. But it's a six wave because they're really, really low. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh, you just blow them up. Yeah. Oh, you just kill them. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the other problem with Elf Cab, 14 16. Yeah. <laughs> they're, just, they're just really, really not very good, are they? 
I think it's the speed nine, nine, isn't it? That makes them. I know, so but. Expensive. But they just suck. The fragile, <laughs> and they. Yeah, I'm quite frankly. Yeah, yeah. None of the special extra rules that you, everybody else has got. Yeah. Around a similar price. Headstrong would be fine on them. If they had Headstrong, I think they'd be a very serviceable unit, but. Yeah. So, what are your targets now then? I think the king goes for the nooker. Does he? Oh, then lightning bolts, the. Um, yeah, you the get regiment. a lightning bolt, the death horror units. And then I would charge Great. the um, eternal with the hod. That's potentially yeah. three I'd units where you. Yeah, yeah, I charge the, the right hand. Yeah, charge the right, right hand eternal all, with the hod. Yeah, that's four units, right? You can wipe out. Yeah, it's get everything you can. It put you on a draw if you kill them, and then it will. It will put you on a draw. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, slice up into the uh, zone. Hey, a, a, a draw on table two is not terrible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if um, if Paul can't win, no one can. <laughs> uh, don't think you can take do it, it anymore. Take though. it away from both of them. You got a, another massive overrun roll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hold well on. Will I come back down the bottom corner here? Or that be, is that, was that oh, yeah. I missed it. No, there's still more to go. I mean, it could still so do that. you not get I'm both in there? No, they're not. I forgot about it. If you put your Mounted King down and five damage into the back of the Eternal, it can charge the Eternal then. You can charge the Regiment with the um, Palace Guard, assuming you're in range. No, it's just that. Don't mind. Ignore me. I'm wrong. There we go. Ben spotted it. Five damage. Mm. Oh, one. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were in. What, good what was the, what's, what's the phrase, Elliot? If you can't be good, be lucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's all well, saying. I think. I think. To be fair, Ben's been both. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But well, he's been rolling some very nice uh, nerve checks. He has, um, yeah. Well, it, appears, well, it, well, appears it, it appears to be. It appears to be. I refuse to go through the entire two hours forty three minutes to work out uh, if he's been above or below average. Yeah. Somebody else do that. But it appears to have had some very nice. Okay, so spears are finally getting into combat. Turn six. So that was three scoring units and seven units to on that turn. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, a, that's a lot. King into Nooker. Could he reach the regiment with the horde? I think so, yeah. I think he set it up so he couldn't escape. Next turn. Not sure why he didn't charge the king, though. Yeah, because the king's in a block of it, isn't it? Yeah, maybe I forgot. So, yeah, so king into the knocker. Horde. Can the horde reach you see anything now, then? Uh, it can get the, the leftmost eternal. Yeah, that eternal. And then I suppose you could do that and reform and spin. So yeah. cross the board for the next turn. For turn seven across the board. Yeah. You're still picking up two units, potentially a third wheel. You're, take, you're taking a flank doing that though, aren't you? You got to you're relying on your lightning bolts there. Mm. Yeah. What's the Silver Breeze troop doing? Is it just taking shots? It's taking shots at the horde. So I think he might be trying to go for a turn seven kill the horde. Oh no. Yeah, big Hail Mary, but it. Fast Guard have sidestepped. Oh. No. Mm. I think he's not thinking. Uh, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not sure he's done the maths there. If he kills the hard and gets a turn seven, he can't lose. If yeah. he kills the hard in one round of shooting with uh, a lot of lightning and the uh, silver breeze. It's doable. 
Is that what he's playing to do? I it's think that's what he's up for. Mm. Yeah. I've had a horde of the uh, Depth Horrors taken off, one-shotted by two Elf mm. Mages before. Here we go. But it's, it's still not doable, though, is it? Because it still doesn't win. Yeah. Because then the Eternals are both scarring. No, but Even if it kills the hard. Ooh, oh, this yeah. is good. Good, good lot of shooting, is that? Ooh, lovely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that with both of them, though? Is that just one? That's just oh, no, that's 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 the the good bits. Oh, this is a good roll too. Excellent Ooh. roll. Ooh. I hit so far. Mm -hmm. elite. No, at least nothing. Well, at least the back on form. Two, nah, so, uh, come back a bit. Ten, but eight, 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 eight ones. Yeah, forty-five percent. Oh, got him! Hey, here we go. Play, I like it. Let's put him back to five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. Now he the could really do with picking up that um, yeah, that knocker. Well, he's going for it. Just the one. one wound. Should be out on five. One. Got him. Yep. Still needs turn seven, but doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, it does seven. definitely. But in the event, Which I would have to, to have see that. Ah, uh, yes, he's remembered his uh, life leech now. Yeah, yeah. And then he's got one more combat at the top, hasn't he? Yeah. It's... Side to the right. I mean, I suppose the other thinking as well of sidestepping the Palace Guard hard is that if it does end on a six, uh, that's, you know, it's two points, isn't it? You're scarring. Bonus for scenario. It's a tournament point, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. only one bonus point. Oh, okay, you guys have been entirely with it, haven't you, for bonus points? Oh, it's uh, units, not unit strength, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's only... Pick well, I suppose, yeah, you're still picking up an extra point, which is something... It's, yeah, it's more important than getting an extra kill out of something, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Here we go, Spears. Oh, go on, kill him. Yeah. Forgot to move his king, though. King on foot. Yeah. Very king, important. The, 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 I think they both forgot that exists. Yeah. But that king on foot would have been really nice <laughs> in the mix of all that stuff next turn. For a turn seven charge, yeah. You know, the two, two kings together. Six. Bottom of six. Possibly yeah. the last turn. Yeah. Ooh. What do you do, Ben? Here, do you just preserve points? Can you see any of the majors with that Depth Horror Eternal in the middle? Nah. Nope. Nah. No. Nah. Mm. Nope. Majors are safe. Well, all they can do is run away. Okay. Yeah. I guess you can herd them, I guess. Paul's decided he's had enough and he's leaving. Yeah. Well, it's been a good comeback by Ben because he was looking in trouble around turn three. Mm. Yeah, the, I think the waiver on the um, the stabby calf was probably what when it all started to turn around. Yeah. yeah. The waiver that should never have been. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. But that was sort of the the issue with Paul's deployment from the start was that there was very little overlap. Everything was fighting things one on one. Um, you know, the entire army was spread out, and there was there was nothing backing up anything. 
So when he got wavered there, he was sort of on his own. You know, there, there wasn't anything set up to defend and protect and, you know, to, to hit the things that hit you. No, exactly. Yeah. Cab definitely aren't the best unit against this type of list because the, the Thunderous doesn't make much difference against Defence 3. Dead in the water. Ah, run around. Get it. So now you're into just preserving your units as best you can, just in case there's a seven. Yeah. Yeah, I think you've got to at this stage. I think you've got to hope there's not a turn seven. I don't. Your movement doesn't matter a whole lot, really, here, does it? It's just. Nah, it's not much you can do. I, I, so I would it... try and get as much inspired as possible. Um, True. Is there any way of doing is it? it eight, is it eight to nine in the uh, points at the moment? I'm just working it out, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, ten seven. Ten seven. Ooh, right, okay. Ooh, this is, this is going to hurt, is this? This is... This is going to be interesting. This is going to be... Yeah. Let's <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, it's nine versus nine at the minute in terms of unit strength. Um, Gives Paul a Yeah, he gets them up in the half and then shoots one unit off. Whoa, what are you What's doing? doing? What are you doing? Ah! What are you, doing? <laughs> you don't need to get that close. No, you need to go the other way. Pack it in. What's he doing? Oh, my God. Well, he's oh shooting. no! He's he's he had, he, I don't think he's worked it out, but he, he needs to go the other direction. No. If he goes he's in the direction, it's a guaranteed. guaranteed. If he draw. goes the other way, it's a guaranteed draw, with a maybe a win. With yeah. a lightning bolt, yeah. lots of lightning bolts. He's. I think he's just thrown away the, the game. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, no. If he takes, if he shoots out that. Um... Doesn't matter. Still a draw. It's no. Wins. Oh, oh yeah, he, he, he wins. Then. It's he wins, he wins. Yeah. No, you're out. Yeah, okay. He's, he's going for the show, but win. Yeah, three, two. <laughs> but you're losing another ton of point there for scenario. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he wants it. Maybe he doesn't want to play you in the final. He's done five damage. He's done Ooh. five wounds in the shooting. The shooting suddenly become absolutely ridiculous. Oof. No, no. Oh, he shouldn't have done thirteen. Well, there's, yeah, there's not many other targets, is there, really? That's a yeah, yeah. Far more. Needs a four to pop him. He's failed it before. Yeah. Failed it on the knocker. No. Needs a four, not a five. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Whew, right. Man, if, he'd have, if he'd have failed that there and thrown away a draw... <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a slapping. So, four more damage onto the regiment. And the king's attacking. They're fine. So that's 13. Yeah. Okay. Bottom of seven. Ben can't win. Can anything threaten that um, civil priest troop? Nope. Nope, nothing. No. He's, uh, he's safe. Yeah, it's Paul's win. Wow. The, de the Death Order Eternal can go into the flank there and still not kill it, actually. So never mind. That's it. 
Yeah, so no, that's it. Yeah, you can't can't win. Oh, the, the king, anyway. Yeah, you've got to roll out yeah. the king, surely. Kill points. Right, I think they're calling it. Uh, he's, looks like he's going to do it. Doing it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Do you right. I won't put the banner up yet. It feels presumptuous. Fourteen wavered. Nada. Is it wavered? Fourteen? No. Oh yeah, wavered. Yeah. Wavered. Yeah. There we go. Put the banner up now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, we said it come down to shooting. I didn't think it'd come down to shooting like that. Yeah. Ballsy move there. Yeah. But he did. Yeah, well, you know, ballsy he, move. He uh, gave away the, draw, the option of a draw for a win. Hmm. That's top table behaviour. Well, I'll tell you what, we got a lot more game out of that than I thought we would. Yeah. I, was, uh, yeah. Yeah. I looked at the deployment to start with and thought it was going to be a bit of a non-game. I mean, it wasn't at all. That was a very good game. You dead swings. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I would have done it. <laughs> no, I can't think I would. Um, I definitely wouldn't have to it, it was interesting towards the end there that they were they were very measured and quite not slow play but very thoughtful play all the way through and then both of them towards the end were very very quick and very boom 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 with the movements. Um, yes. I don't know. They, I don't know. They're both hungry. I want to go for the lunch. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it was interesting that they their style of play changed quite considerably towards the end, um, as if they were playing on clocks. It, it, those last few turns looked very much like when you're watching somebody on a clock, yeah. and you're down to the last few minutes, and you you, start, you know you you play is a bit sloppier, but you're doing it because you you're quick. Yeah. Um, but obviously there is no clock here, so it was a an interesting sort of change. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh yeah. No, uh, no glory in draws. Yes, Neil. <laughs> it was if it ended on turn six. Yes, it would have been a win for the Trident Realms. Yeah. Yeah. Very much. Nine eight. Yeah, came yeah, down to a turn seven roll again. Sharing. Yeah, you can close it down if you've got now. Yep. We'll, we'll wait around for them to. I might, I'll, I'll see if Ben wants to come in for him. Oh. I've got a blank screen. There we go, pro host. <laughs> In my defence, my browser is hating this for some reason today, and everything is crawling, which is why there's been about a thirty-second delay on any updates to the uh, banners or anything. <laughs> I type it in, and thirty seconds later, it appears on my screen. You did say that you're uh, you may have a problem with the uh, with hosting. I don't know why. It, it, it works well. It works well actually. To be fair, I think it works well with having somebody else doing the map and somebody else running the controls for the uh, um, banners and things because it's all. It, it takes pressure off one person doing everything. Oh, oh Elliot's it's now lost himself. <laughs> Which means you can't get anybody, you can't add anybody. <laughs> I 
Hi guys. Hey. Hey. Hi Jeff. Hi. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Good. Did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's always a challenging matchup because he can just keep shooting me and running away, which he did a lot. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but this this game, I say, you probably at the beginning you read we have played it so many times, and essentially it comes down to a turn six, turn seven matchup, which is what this did again here. So yeah, it was interesting that you, you both very much chose to deploy on different flanks and not engage directly. Is that because of your experience in the past? It it doesn't work. Well, in fact, normally we'd have deployed. I think it was scenario based. If I'm honest, normally we tend to deploy more centrally. But um, my my strategy was say keep my unit strength high, move it away from his shooting. Um, I'm, I don't know why he moved. Didn't include his um, bigger units in the middle because I think that would have mm. been equally as good for him. Um, I think he was probably, well, it worked out well for him, didn't it? Um, yeah, I, th I think his deployment, I would have done it differently, but um, it, it works okay. I don't think his knights were able to get into the game too much. Obviously, I managed to pick him up, um, which I was pleased with. Um, he did well with his Silver Breeze. I knew it was going to be a toughie getting those. Um, yeah, I, I think from deployment, I was happy, and but I'd have done it differently from Paul. Yeah. Well, I agree, guys, I think we had the better not? deployment, but uh, you seemed to be going down around turn three and then you pulled it back on four and five and you were looking the goods and then uh, he's got you at the end. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think I needed to get hold of him. That was kind of my thought. Um, and I bet you're messaging me now. But by turn four, <laughs> I'd actually got hold of him, which is where, what, that's where I kind of got the advantage. Um, yeah. But then he can just shoot me up on turn seven. So, I mean, it's, it's a fun game to play. Um, it's very close. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I felt a bit bad about taking that flank on his knights, but I think it was reasonable in the game. No, yeah, absolutely. It was there. Yeah. No, he, the, uh, yeah, uh, we were watching it and he, he, you, were, you were in at the start and then he, he, did, he, he didn't reform at all. If it didn't, a slight pivot, it'd have probably brought him out and it'd have been okay, but he didn't. He didn't see it. He moved the king and then didn't move the song at all. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, so any any, um, any highlights? Because obviously in the game you don't see it. What do you think was the turning yeah. point? Well, I was glad to see you remembered uh, removing his nimble eventually. eventually. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, I think for me see, what, what I thought was a turning were, point. Uh, Took on. No, go uh, I was, was going to say what, with the, uh, the ch uh, two charges you kind of made. The what, so, for you there, Ben, on the bottom right, the Depth Horror Eternal, sorry, Depth Horror Horde and Depth Horror Regiment, they were in front of each other, so they couldn't have actually seen to charge the same target. And you had the yep. same thing on the hill with the uh, Eternal and the Regiment of charging the same target, which they couldn't see. Ah, okay. You them at the same time. I've missed that bit. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy to miss, like I say, when you're yeah. in your mid-game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and with, and with, no. with 2D, 2D, 2D terrain and 2D units, it's quite difficult to spot things like that, but yeah. yeah. No, thank you very much. I thought it was a, it was no. a brilliant game, and I thought it, it was a, a really fun game. And actually, from deployment, we were kind of worried it was going to be a bit of a, a, a sort of a, a non-game, that not a lot would happen, and you just wander past each other. Um, and it really wasn't. It was a, a lot of back and forth. It was great mm. to watch. Yeah. We, 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 we I say we we call this our classic matchup because it's always a close game. It's always fun, tactical, mm. and it's never because he. I've got the advantage in unit strength, and he, he's got the advantage in shooting. So it's it, it's very much, you know. I think the dice were probably okay in the game. I don't think it was anything mental. His double one didn't really affect it. I had some good combat rolls here, got some good shooting. So mm -hmm. I think we can't complain there. Um, I think I think on average the shooting was pretty fair, it, yeah. it, but it was very swingy. There were some mm. very, very good. Certainly, the last two turns, the shooting seemed to, the, from the from the shooter cavalry, was particularly good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think you it might. The target too. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I think I think if I if my regiment, so my horde had held when he did all that shooting, I think that might have made a bit of a difference. Yeah. And that was really? probably key. All right. Well. Yeah. Thank you very much to both of you. Um, congratulations to Paul. I think he's probably going to be on top table next round, facing one of the Toms. 
Um, but we'll, we shall wait and see. Mm. So th thanks again for letting us look over your, your shoulders. It was a great game to watch. No, yeah. Thank you. Enjoyed it. All right, guys. Yeah, good. And good luck for your next round. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. See you later. Catch you soon, Ben. Yeah, definitely. After the tournament, we'll get a game in, Jeff. Right. Yeah, no worries, mate. All right. See you soon. Thanks, Cheers. guys. Bye. 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 See you later. I'll say see you later, but I don't know.